Who's one is this? What's up, what's up, y'all? What's up, my people? We're gonna hook up some food, some steaks, but I also got these here Cajun uh, ball peanuts right here, y'all. Everybody been wanting to know how to make them, so I got them, uh, them peanuts right there rolling in this pot. You see right here? Y'all see that? I don't know. Y'all can't see that damn far. I'll show you that in a second. It's one thing about them, uh, them ball peanuts, y'all. They take a long time to do, man. A long time to boil them peanuts up. Uh, Maybe like three hours. Might be better to throw them in a crock pot, I think. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, y'all? You got Melly. You got What's up, Melly? What's up, Nate? Everybody Dog? Saying, we got Jake. They said, What's up? Everybody said, Let's go. What's up? What's up, y'all? Washington State's in here. What's up, Washington State? What's going on? Thomas said, What's up? What's up, Thomas? What's up, y'all? Let's go. What's up from Atlanta? What's up, Atlanta? It's the Ralphie. What's up? What's up, y'all? So man, we got some fillets, y'all. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell y'all. I, I, I'm just simple sometimes. I like. I'm gonna do tonight some good fries, y'all. Some dress fries with some fillet, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that. And like I said, I got them Cajun uh, ball peanuts right there. I'm gonna show y'all what they look like. That recipe gonna be posted tomorrow for y'all on YouTube. Uh, but man, let me tell you something. For my people that like some good ball peanuts, they real good. They for real. They the truth, man. They right here. Let me show you. We got Georgia, we got Cali, we got Ohio, Texas, we got St. Louis, we got Michigan. All right. That is a good, that is a good for us. Check it out, y'all. See them puppies right there? They start to get soft and dark like that. Man, them things got a lot of flavor right there. I guarantee it. What's up, 44 Bulldog? We got Thomas. I don't know if I said Thomas was yeah, in Thomas, here. So we got right. Airplane Trucker. Right, what's up everybody? Chicago, New York. He said I'm a Raiders fan. I didn't hear Cali, but they shirt wrong too, Dad. Alright, appreciate you. He said they look good. Indiana's in here. What's up, Indiana? Um, they said never saw that before. Oh man, they good, y'all. You can throw up a couple of fresh jalapenos in there. An onion. Some good, you know, some good spice, man. I'll tell you what. Oh boy, I guarantee it's good. Tell you that right now. We got Medina, we got Chunk Dirty from Florida. Yeah, what's up everybody? We got Sandy. Uh... Get that going so we can get them fries going. I love some fries, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. Um, woo -hoo. who's ready for the 49ers fan in the house? I'm ready now. <laughs> Uh, so yes, about. don't forget to like this, y'all. Go hit that like button. But, yeah. uh, chat button. Also, a lot of y'all might know, I don't know, I don't really know how it works. I get a lot of, I get a lot of activity on my community page. A lot of people do know, but some of y'all may not know. On my website, y'all, I do have uh, fresh shrimp out there available. It's 10 pounds at a time. So if you want to get you some Louisiana fresh shrimp, let me know. It's on the website, beggars101.com, y'all. What's up, Michelle? Um, a few people have actually turned the camera sideways. Would you prefer to leave it like that? No, yeah, you know how to do it sideways? No, matter. Um, let's, let's see, see. y'all. I don't know we'll if it works too well if it works too well like that. All right, y'all, bear with us. Okay. Rotate device. Oh, it won't let us once you're live. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, because it's saying that the... we got to remember to do that. But if you Yo, guys want to see more, just go ahead and expand the camera on your right hand side and it'll show you like the full view. Um, but next time we'll try to remember to do that. Definitely do it on the side next time, y'all. We still new here to YouTube. Um, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, trying to catch up. And my husband said, Ralph, the Cajun season is a fire. All right, I'm glad you're enjoying them. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Perfect. Do you, okay, so with the shrimp, it's fresh shrimp with the head and the skin on. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's fresh shrimp. It's not peeled or anything like it's that. It's fresh shrimp jumping out the water. I ain't even gonna freeze them. I'm gonna throw them on dry ice and they're gonna come to you just like that, okay? So they ain't gonna be frozen or none of that craziness. Uh, like I said, it is $10 a pound for the shrimp. 
Uh, and they're gonna come. I'm gonna get them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ship them out on Monday mornings, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. That's the days I'm gonna ship. Some people ordered some, so I got like maybe about 20 pounds I'm gonna pick up first thing Monday morning and uh, get those out. And so if you're interested, I'm, I'm gonna be shipping them out Monday morning because we gotta we gotta definitely avoid you know weekends because we don't want them to get stuck because they're gonna be fresh literally. What's up, Callie Misfit? Thank you for jumping in. <laughs> but if you ain't never had no real Louisiana. Shrimp, I'm telling you what, you'll taste the difference in them, I guarantee it. Uh, where do they go to order, baby? Uh, Bakers101.com, yo. Check out the website. Like I said, now I know some people wanted to do smaller than 10 pounds. The problem is you got to buy ice chest. So to make it, you know, be able to cover everything, you got to get that styrofoam ice chest. I just have it up there in 10 pound increments, okay? So you got to at least buy 10 pounds. And maybe in the future we could fix it. Uh, I got a deal on some blue crabs and stuff like that. I'm just trying to really figure it out. A lot of people's asking, but I'm just trying to figure out all the shipping and all that there, you know? Thank you, Richard. I appreciate that. Uh, we got Echo Cruz from the Philippines. What's up, man? What's happening? Way out there in the Philippines. Bro, when are you going to dip into some Mexican food? Man, I could try it, bro. But that might be an epic fail, man. But I do love it. I tell you that, boy. I guarantee you that's some good stuff there, man. I definitely enjoy some good Mexican food, I tell you. Sarah, too. We go over there to, to this place. What's the name of that place we go? The um, Dave Drive right there? Oh, what's the name of it? Bell Shop. It's got like oh, a skeleton butcher. on it. I think it's like Bella Taco Cartel or something like something that. Something like that. Me and Sarah go over there and get us some tacos. We're going to go sit in the parking lot. We don't even come home to the kids with them tacos, <laughs> bro. Oh, uh, Annie's in here. She said she wanted to make us uh -huh. some barbecue shrimp. Annie, when y'all come down, I promise you, I, I guarantee you, after that, that uh, mishap we had in Alabama with them, that's the first thing we're going to do. Do you have just regular seasoning or everyday seasoning? So my cave, my regular Cajun seasoning would, would be something you can use on everything you do, from red beans down to your steak, down to anything you want to put it on. Uh, if you like spice, I got the spicy version, but make sure you like spice, okay? Thank you, Melly. She said you over five just because. Appreciate you, Mel. How you and Frank hanging in? How y'all making out? They said, what was the mishap? Mishap was we had an ice chest of shrimp, so I decided to do 10 pounds. Maybe even 12 pounds. It was a lot. Yeah. And I only brought enough seasoning for 5 pounds. So then we had, to, we had to make do with what we had, bro. And, and they just didn't come out right. Man, y'all know. Anybody that knows me, ask me. I told y'all a thousand times, man. That's my favorite dish right there. That's my favorite meal to make. So when that goes down bad, I ain't... I mean, don't get me wrong. We made it happen. We made it taste good, but not the way they need to be tasting. Richard, send you over 10, baby. Richard, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, airplane driver said, what's the liquor you mix with your water? What, an inhale? No, uh, I, no, liquor, baby. Oh, the liquor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jose Cuevo, y'all. So, Jose Cuevo on water, on, on ice. That's all that is. Carlos said, just overnight mushroom for a boy. <laughs> I know that's right, man. I'm telling you. I know that's Andy right. Andy said it was still delicious. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. But when y'all get down here and... Oh, I think y'all gonna come to New Orleans, huh? Y'all coming to the meet and greet deal? I think Annie is coming. Yeah. Is coming. You and Adam, come on. When y'all get on down here, we're gonna do it the right way. Um, Clay said, thanks, Ralph. Oh, no we problem. Had All from right, Big Swole, Louisiana, Woodland, and Las Vegas here. Keep up the okay. great work. That's awesome. We got Brown's Backer. Good evening, Ralph. It's our glad to be on Yeah, that's awesome. We're glad to be on, y'all. It's been a minute since we, it seems like it's been a minute since we've been on uh, YouTube, yeah? Yeah. Yes, it has been. Man, I'll tell you what. Them boiled peanuts are good, but I'll tell you what I think. Is, I think they'd be better if you put them in a crock pot and just let them roll that way. So you ain't got to have them on your stove heating up your house all day long. They take a good damn three hours. I ain't lying to you. Yo, what's up, dude? Why you from the Netherlands? What's up? What's up, man? That's awesome. What size are your shrimp, baby? Uh, 1620s, y'all. Fresh Louisiana, 1620s. Miss Mary's in here. Shout out off the top. What's up, Miss Mary? Miss Mary and Jay, grand dog. What's hey, up, what's Mary. up? Miss Mary and Jay, what's going on? They down, there, they down there in Grand Dog. They went through it with that weather the other day like a lot of other people did. It was terrible. I ain't sure. Miss Mary, what about the, the charters right now? I know the boat got a little messed up. Let me know if them charters are still, if y'all still taking some, uh, you know, if y'all still taking dates on that or not. Let me know. We got San Benito, Texas, and South Texas. San Benito. 
All right, what's up, Frank? Thank you. Oh, man. Ha ha ha, y'all crazy. I wish I could go to Louisiana, then in Michigan all my, I mean, yeah, I wish I could go to Louisiana, then in Michigan my entire life. All right, that's awesome. Down there in Michigan, don't they do, don't they got like crawfish down there like in the creeks and stuff like that? Oh, Shirley's in here. She said she didn't get notified. YouTube better not start the TikTok crap. Oh, man. We got a few people complain that they didn't get notified. Man, this ain't, I don't Just go know. hit the bell again, Shirley. Regular thing. You know they don't get, you know they don't care, man. Um... I got some shrimp waiting on them. Can't wait here okay. in Indiana. Thank awesome. you, Salty Army. Yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah, you're going to enjoy them shrimp. They're going to be fresh. Like I said, I ain't even freezing them. I'll put them on some uh, on some ice, man, and ship them on out. They're going to be good. Guaranteed. Donovan said, I'm in South Carolina, and you're a celebrity in my house. My kids won't eat it unless I say I got the idea from Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I appreciate it. BW said over $20. Got my season and made some Cajun flounder. Outstanding. BW, thank you so much. That's awesome. I always oh, like to hear when people are enjoying the season and then uh, it's always awesome, you know, because like I said, it's always just the same stuff. You got Slappy Mountain and Tony's. That's it. That's it, y'all. So it's good when, when people get to try something new, something different, enjoy it, you know? Um, oh, what's up, Ashley? I just seen you in here. What's up? What's Ms. up? Miss Mary said the boat will be ready Monday, so they're still booking charters. All right, y'all. So look, that's Miss Mary. She didn't hire Jay. They're like family, so if y'all interested in going down there and catching you some fish, Jay will take you down there on the charter in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Check them out on Facebook, y'all. Hook them charters. So definitely check them out, and you'll catch some fish. Shirley said, what you cooking, baby? Oh, I got, I'm cooking some french fries. I'm going to load them things up. I'm going to cook some filets. I got some Cajun boiled peanuts going, some more Cajun boiled peanuts going back there. We got all kind of stuff happening, Shirley. We got all kinds of things. Hi, how are y'all? Yeah, we're doing good. How's everybody else's night, evening going, should I say? Yes, yeah, so I'll live now. Ross cooking it up. Mm -hmm. uh, he said we want to, we're going to see another live with you and your wife. Y'all are beautiful together. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Who's that, Sal? No, not that same Sal. Come on over here, Sal. You can come in the picture. Um, I'm just reading comments, baby. You know I don't know how to cook food. You want me to burn it? I know. Don't hold on. I didn't make Dang. some really good steaks on the grill. So hold on. Those are nice little fillets. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. <laughs> what? What? You so aggravating. Yeah, let me fix it. I'm messing around with her. Okay. We better. Surely they are fun, like 20 billion times better than the ones in a can. Yeah, they're going to take some time. They're going to take about three oh, good hours. Okay. But if you like boiled peanuts, they definitely, definitely work. Shirley said she don't like the ones in the can. So nah, those are raggedy, them. man. No, those are raggedy. Shirley, you would love these. Yeah. And Ralph said you could put them in a crock pot if you don't feel like having a bowl on your stove all day. I would definitely say that this is a good crock pot deal. Mm -hmm. I don't normally say that, but I would say that for them. Um, Let's see. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Melly. Let's check this. Let's check this here all out. See what's going on. I shredded these potatoes myself and put them in a the bag. Who said they don't want no raggedy peanuts, bro? Huh? Who? Cool. They were repeating you. Oh, yeah, they raggedy, man. Some of them are raggedy up in the cans and stuff like that. You're like, man, that thing sucks, man. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take my peanut salsa and a whole little boy to me. I'm talking about all right. All right, Ashley said y'all think the hamburger seasoning would be good in a bowl of peanuts. Hmm, I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I don't know. Cause I use the, uh, what you call it, Ashley? The, uh, seafood bowl. Seafood bowl, yeah. I don't know. So I, I mean, sure. it's worth a shot. Make a small batch and see what yeah. they taste. You can do that. Throw some of that, throw some garlic powder, throw some onion powder in there, throw all that in there. See, this is what I used. I used that right there, y'all. That, that's a lot of seasoning I put in there. I ain't gonna lie on that, but y'all know I like to get carried away with that. What you so worried about that TikTok I mean, week, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, if you can't TikTok, uh, today Sarah's making all these TikToks, bro. Bro, that was a good one, huh? That was a good one, though. You can't even lie, bro. Show them your uh, TikToks, Sarah. 
Oh, Shirley said, how does she, how does she do the peanuts, baby? Hold up now, Shirley. I got the video. You better go check that video on TikTok. Ooh, Shirley, he's sending you to the TikTok video. Better carry on, carry on something on over there now. <laughs> oh, Jackson said, Rob, that pot's smoking. You got it under control? No, I got everything under control in here. I got all kind of things cooking now. I'm about to get these steaks on there in a minute. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some of this Cajun seasoning right on them steaks right there. I'm guaranteed. She said, Are you at the moon yet? Hell no. Nah. I'm going back down, man. The coins are going down. <laughs> the coins are going down. We was going in the right direction for two days and we're not going to the moon right now. We're going more to like a canal. And she said she's gonna try, she's gonna let us know she eats yeah. the hamburger season on popcorn and everything. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Go ahead on. Throw that in there. Throw you a bunch of garlic powder, a bunch of onion powder. Throw you in some jalapenos. It don't matter if they pickled or not, fresh, either or. Throw in an onion, go ahead and take the skin off it, cut it in fours, throw that in that pan. Man, I guarantee it, I'm telling you. It's gonna be good now. Alright, someone said, question about gumbo. Okay. They thought it was taboo to mix sausage with the seafood. You know, like some uh, people say, don't mix the meats with the seafood gumbos. Yeah, I, all right. So deal is on gumbo. There's a million different ways to make it, and everybody house they make it different. Now, okay, typically with your gumbo, you got chicken and sausage gumbo, or you got seafood gumbo, and then sometimes you find people that just like chicken and sausage and shrimp. Yeah, that's how they do it. So it's kind of just like whatever you want, because you're going to be making the house for you, so it's kind of have whatever you want in your gumbo. If shrimp's going to make it better to you, I'll roll with it, you know? Personally, believe it or not, y'all, I prefer chicken and sausage gumbo over seafood gumbo, because I don't like them crabs in my gumbo, where they get all raggedy, the shells break off, bite shells and all this, I'm like, nah. Yeah, oh. but we always add sausage into our, any kind of gumbo we do, because the sausage is going to give it a really good flavor. Yep. That's just how we do it. We add it no matter if it's seafood or not. So, it's technically supposed to be taboo, but you do it however you want. That's it. You yep. look to whatever you want. That's it. I'm going to put some more water on these peanuts. What's up, Ralph from Woodbrook? What's up, From Facebook. Um, I'm coming, y'all. I'm getting some water. Jambalaya and I do is my favorite. All right, some good stuff there, man. Nelly said, how did your LSU interview go, baby? Well, he's good. He was a nice young man. I was glad to be able to help him, you know, and uh, help him get his last, uh, what you call it, did? Um, it was like his final, like, exit exam. Type yeah, like thing. his final exit exam. I, I don't mind helping him. Nice young man. Hopefully, he finds a lot of success in life. And, uh, yeah, he's in journalism and broadcasting or something. Yeah, he's in journalism and uh, broadcasting and uh, nice young man. So hopefully he can, like I said, man, we don't wish nothing but the best and a lot of success and hopefully all that happens for him, man. Jackson said, Ralph, is that you on your shirt, the number nine? That's me, babe. I just don't want to show my money right now. <laughs> you ain't telling everybody you're going to be playing for the same team? I ain't telling everybody that right now. See? You didn't want everybody to have good news, you're going to be the quarterback? I'm probably going to be the quarterback coming up here, y'all. I'm going to need y'all vote for it, though. That's funny. Uh, let's see, let me catch up. I love the biscuits and gravy TikTok, Thomas said. All right, awesome. Yeah, that's that. those are good. I tell you what, man, those are real nice. Tell you that right now. Does J-Lo like gumbo? <laughs> oh, beautiful J-Lo. Why do you have to bring up J-Lo into the subject? Oh, beautiful J-Lo, babe. Oh, my God. I Put see you side on. Put a little salt, babe. A little bit of salt on ain't gonna hurt nothing. Who did Ralph the Bay the next quarterback for the Saints? That's it. Somebody got to do it. It may as well be me. Benny said I got my 10 pounds on the way. Thank you. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you. And uh, you're going to definitely enjoy them. Like I said, they're going to be fresh, man. They're coming fresh. Never frozen. Who said why not? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, what we got to lose right now? Just give uh, me a shot for about a game or two. We find out what happens. And she said, better question. Do y'all put okra in your body? That is a very good question. No, I don't put okra because I've never mastered making it where it ain't slimy, and I don't like slimy okra, and I have never mastered. Some people can get it where it ain't slimy, uh, but not me. Not me, so I just stay away from it, y'all. But do you like okra in your gumbo? Like if you're not 
I'm a like, oh, granted, if the person knows how to do it, then ain't sliming it, yeah. But a lot of people making it slime it, man. I don't like that too much, y'all. Josh, sitting here with $10, baby. Josh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, you put fish in your gumbo. No, I ain't. Now, now see, now you getting carried away, now. I ain't never did no damn fish in that, now. Let me get me another utensil right here. Y'all the best company Thank well, we you. We appreciate you. <laughs> Do people put fish in gumbo? I don't think I've ever had fish. No, I don't think they do. I think that was just a question, man. Oh, oh Lord. My mom steams them and then fries it over and then tops it with Yeah, I mean, if you can get it, like I said, I mean, man, I, I just don't like it. I don't like that slimy consistency, but some people, like I said, they get it where it ain't slimy, then it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Rob, did you pick the color of these blue colored knives? Yeah. Jacqueline wants to know. Jacqueline, I did. What you got? What you talking about now, Jacqueline? <laughs> oh. What the hell you talking about now? He likes to have like bright colored stuff. I like oh. bright, pretty, yeah. windows open, sun. Never dark, never gloomy. You know okay, so we know exactly what you say, Ralph. We got you. All right. Should I try frying my chicken in the Alfredo? I don't like pan seared. It's too tough. Frying the chicken in Alfredo sauce? Like, you mean like searing it? Or cooking it? You ain't gonna fry it in Alfredo sauce. Hmm. Yeah. All right. You always want to sear it beforehand, but just the outside. Yeah, you ain't got to get carried away now with that, but you do want to sear it. All right, you get some butter there. Sarah, I'm gonna need your assistance here in a minute. Okay. Oh, they said, what should I be breading this stuff? All right, tell me, what, what was it again, Ben? Chicken, I don't, okay, see your boy, what kind of, what kind of dish are you trying to make exactly so we can tell you what the best Yeah, let me know what, you're, what we're talking about. What kind of dish are you talking about there? Yeah. That's what you said, that slime feeling in the back of my throat is a big hell now for me. <laughs> Alright, now. Alright, Mr. Rouse, salute my friend, good cooking pal. What's up, man? Oh, no, let's turn this puppy down. Where we at? You need that up? Sunny said, y'all the best. And we appreciate y'all. Dina and Lil Rouse's family, what's up? What's up, y'all? Oh, fried chicken Alfredo. Oh, fried chicken Alfredo, huh? I can't say we have made no fried chicken Alfredo. Yeah, so. We always, we always like, put on a skillet. Yeah, you would just fry your chicken. Fry it how you fry it. You just fry it. Fry it how you do it. And then after you fry it, go ahead and take that there meat right there. Make up your fettuccine and throw in your fried chicken. I guess you could. It's going to be crispy. It'd be good. I usually just throw it in a pan. But normally, we would uh, put some garlic in there, man. Can't go wrong. Oh, garlic to the floor. Can't go wrong with some garlic, yeah. Charlotte, so why you always got your pinky out, Ralph? Why you always ask so much questions, bro? Charlotte, <laughs> so why you got the pinky like this? Charlotte asks us too much, bro. She's asking too much. Let's go. Can you say you can bless much respect from Ohio? Appreciate you. See you taking my fries off, put your little Cajun seasoning, baby. It's a nice, that's what I was looking for. All right. Yeah, you can definitely do that. That's a hell of a you know, that might be good. You can get some good crispy chicken in there. Definitely could be good. Definitely. Okay, what time are we eating? I'm going to put up right now, bring you my new piece, so you got to have enough. Oh, we're going to have enough, I guarantee you. We always got too much food, believe me. These are all that I'm watching in my big screen. All right, that's awesome. See, y'all, I like to take that Cajun seasoning and put it on every damn thing. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I throw that down on I take. Oh, boy, that's a good on everything. Shirley said, you don't want to act on boozy with your pinky already, yes? <laughs> Shirley, bro, let me tell you something, bro. You just mad at me and these 120 people up here because you stuck, you going to make yourself stuck eating keto. And you don't want to eat all this good food, so now you want to come disrespect me. No more than just in time. What's right. up, y'all? I'm going to throw that right there in the cage and see Let's see. What's good, RTV Sam? What's up, uh, Jeffrey? Sure, what's up? Jacqueline said, did you get another pet yet? Man, this thing raggedy, bro. We need a better seer on it than this. Jacqueline, we ain't getting another pet now. I did get some, uh, 
I did get some clothes for uh for Coco over there. Do a sauce or a fried sandwich? Not right now. Now I'm gonna try this at home. Say that now. Hey Ralphie boy. What's up, y'all? What things in the house? See when you get them right here, that 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 smoke is cooking the top of it. I'm playing it ain't. Getting that butter out of the way real quick. What's up, West Bank? I got that butter in the way. I should have did that. I should have waited, man. Y'all know me. I ain't got no patience on it. Vegas is in here. What's up, Vegas? Ooh. I don't know how to say what you just said, but they said much love to you and the family, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely appreciate y'all, man. Bro, what is this cooking technique called? The tilted pan? <laughs> this is called the tilter 180 degree cooking glass right there. That's just called when you put the butt on too early. I don't know. Oh, they said respect from, from uh, uh, Jersey. Appreciate you, man. He said hello, Mr. House. Definitely appreciate you. Man, this sucks. Let's do this. I keep that raggedy butt off of it. Oh, we got LaFaz in here. What's up, LaFaz? Uh, we ain't getting no pretty stairs today. That'd be all right. How dirty does the stove get? Oh, this stove gets seriously dirty. I guarantee it. Ooh, Ralph's up messy fuck, y'all. We got to stir that stove. We got to clean the walls and everything, y'all. I guarantee that. Yeah. It's pretty damn bad, man. Hello, from the UK. So UK. You got Denim Springs. I can smell it from here. What's up, Denim right, Springs? Spring. What's up? Ralph Raggy, homemade fries. Oh, yeah. Last time I was in the cooking class, I was back in the line. Okay, now. You're back again today. What you put on the steak, baby? I put some Cajun seasoning, y'all, and some, some salt and some pepper on that. That's about it, y'all. They said, don't forget to pick up that garlic, garlic clove you violently threw on the ground. Yeah, it's right under my foot, right next to my foot, right about now. <laughs> Put that, yeah. I put this butt on too soon, y'all. I'm supposed to wait on that. I ain't got carried away and got excited. Hello from Brazil. What's up, Brazil? You got California. What's up, what's up, Cal? Marco said, what's up, man? Man, y'all, we just cooking up some food right mm -hmm. here. We're going to eat a little bit of food. We got them uh, Louisiana bowl peanuts going right there, y'all. That's going to be good, I guarantee it. That's going to definitely be good. You got giant duck in here? What's up? What's up, everybody? Eric said, hey, man, big time fans. Send some support. Hey, appreciate you, brother. Definitely appreciate y'all. It's fun, man. I tell you. Going that makes me think that I can name my dad and Frank family. All right, now, well, well. Thanks tomorrow, man. Danny said, I love you, Ralph, but bro, you're so scared that I'll be so close to the wall. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, what's up from Chicago? Sometimes I tell you, man, I get I get uh, carried away and I have a pot like this one, and if I push it against the wall right here, the paint peels off and stuff, it gets carried away and gets ridiculous. Four peanuts, that's a southern thing. Oh, man. It's good, though. Four peanuts, boy, I tell you, I'm going to try that out, y'all, boy. You're going to like that. It's good. That's like, man, rough from the fruit on this one. I'm going to show them to y'all. Hold on, I'm going to show them to y'all. Sorry, can take the wheel on this one, man. What am I going to do? Nothing. Look at it. Why do you have to clean the walls? Get him on the griddle outside. This messy truck. He is. Man, What's up, Canada? Y'all will not believe the amount of rain we have had here in the last week. We ain't had a damn dry day yet. Not a one day, I'm sorry. Nope. Every single day the last week get rained off. Every damn day. How you like your steak cook, baby? I don't know. They're not bloody. I like medium. I'll say medium. Maybe a little less than medium. They're going to be good. I'm going to put some steak on top of their fry. Oh, let me show y'all. I'm going to show y'all this. What's up, buckwheat? <laughs> All right, Miss uh, Jenkins cooking steaks, too. All right. See, that's them Cajun uh, peanuts right there, y'all. They only take about, uh, about a good three hours to cook them, though. So if you got a crock pot, you want to do it tomorrow? Tomorrow Sunday, huh? Yeah. yeah. Throw them down. Drop the peanuts? I don't know. No. The juice. Throw them down in your crock pot on Sunday while you're going to church or going to get out, going to do whatever you want to do. Kick them up, let them cook up. Boom. Three, four hours later. Probably three hours. You'll be good. Jake said it was 28 degrees and frosty. Where are you at, Jake? 
Oh, yeah. Against the damn North Pole. That was 80 degrees out here. Hey, that, Josh, you're awesome to watch and thank you for the content. Hey, I appreciate y'all. So thanks. Yo, Where yeah. are my babies? Nelly, they are in the room quiet for the first time today. That's right. That was always in Wisconsin. Man, it's still that cold, huh? I guess. Well, I don't know. Man, that's raggedy cold, man. That's just too much cold, man. I'll tell you. Rock. Yes. How do you think is? Oh, who do you think is winning tonight between Ben Askin and Jake Paul? Jake Paul fighting tonight? He's fighting tonight. Jake Paul goes down, bro. Alyssa, what's your opinion on that? Jake Paul knocks him. No, I don't know if he knocks him out. You think he's going to win? No, I think he's going to win. Y'all ain't got Alyssa in here talking about that. Y'all had my daughter run into this kitchen. Yeah, I think Jake Paul goes down. Let's have a conversation about Looks so good, but Bob Peanut. Guys were tired. Anger came off of surgery. He's just coming Is he down. a professional? He's retired. Jake Paul going down. What y'all think? Y'all think Jake Paul going down? Or do y'all think Jake Paul going to take him down? What y'all think? They said, who's going to get me started on Jake Paul, please? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Go right there, five, y'all. I'll put you on it. Those brand fries right there taste like the fries you get at a restaurant. For real. They do. They said I hope Jack J. Paul gets knocked out. Yeah, go ahead, right? He's going to sleep. Yeah, he's going to he sleep. He's going to look like Nate Rabbit again? Jake Paul ain't gonna remember where he was at, bro. Tell that right now. Like that. Jay Paul's actually <laughs> going down, asking a tank to pair to him. He does have a chin there. I'm a huge MMA fan for 10 years. I can't stand seeing the Paul Brothers box. <laughs> I know. Let's go. Yeah. Huh? does have a chin. Take you can take some ass, trust me. She ain't come to play around with that boy, man. You can take Jake, 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 I bet. <laughs> He's gonna see that. He's I wouldn't even want to go take Jake Paul down like that, but if I have to, bro, I'll take him down. Bro. He wouldn't want none of this, bro. I do too much cooking with these hands. Bro, I smack them down, bro. Quick for you. Wait, can you get into this? Don't tell me you're going to start getting into no UFC and all of that. Oh, I've been watching UFC. What you mean? No, I'm, no, I'm talking about physically in the sport. I would physically smack Jake Paul down. I want to watch the fight. You think so? Ain't no question about it. So you're just going to slap him like a kid? Smack him down, bro. You want kids to watch the fight, <laughs> When he was, I feel bad for him, bro. I guarantee you, I feel bad after I smacked him down. He said Jake Paul's Telling y'all. The UFC is on right now on ESPN Plus. Before I smacked him down, bro, I eat a nice Cajun meal first. And gumbo and jambalaya and then beat him down, bro. <laughs> Ooh, Jake Paul's gonna see this on YouTube. He's gonna call you out to fight you. Oh, my God. And his brother at the same time. Hey. I was younger than bacon and been beat down, bro. You can't do me no worse when I done been done. No matter with me. Hey, Joy. Love you guys. Love from uh, Connecticut. What's up, Connecticut? We appreciate you. What's up, Columbus, Ohio? Ralph hit him with the cagey call. <laughs> For real. I'm telling y'all. Eat a some king cakes. Eat a big king cake right before the fight, Brendan. Take them down. Ralph's signature move is a cagey yeah, kick or a crawfish yeah, yeah. dive. <laughs> what kind I'm of the crawfish dive? All right, what kind of uh, fries? What's oh, brand? these are real good. Oh. I don't know. See them? They're real good. They like the restaurant fries you get, for real. They really are. Ralph, I love you, but Jake would demolish you. Number three ain't something I learned, y'all. Dad don't have the stamina. Ooh, I'll be there for now. Dad don't have the stamina. <laughs> I go out, man. <laughs> look, I cook now, but don't never forget. The baker climbed trees for 15 years, man. You know, look, give me three months, bro, and I'm going to tell you what. You'd be surprised. Sarah, i tell you something. All my shoulders are way out here, bro. Never worked out a day in my life, man. Didn't have to. I ain't had, Every day I went to work, I worked out. I was, I was carrying 200-pound logs, bro. Sarah, i tell you this. I carried 200 pound log, man, back and forth yards. 15 years. My smack Jake Paul down. I'm Wait, telling they said Ralph would get Jake in the beignets and win the match. That'd be a good one. Eat some beignets and then beat them down real quick. Oh my God, Jake Paul. <laughs> Let's go, Ralph. 
Uh -huh. Hey, let me tell you something. If I can climb trees for 15 years, y'all, I can do anything. And Jake Paul ain't nothing compared to that, I'm telling you. Oh, my face is burning. Talk about that fool, huh? That's what you get for being worried about Jake Paul. Talking all that smack. Introducing first out of the blue corner, he stands <laughs> five feet eleven inches tall, fighting out of Louisiana, Ralph the Raggy <laughs> Wrangler Baker. <laughs> I have a, I have some beignets, king cake. You said you slap him with a king cake? Mama, so eat all that. Him. Eat all that before I smack him down after he worked out for a year. Straight. I think we should do this collaboration on YouTube. I smack him down. I think we should do it. I think it should be set you up. Fight him or you want to have a collaboration with him? I'm confused. A collaboration of a fight. Yeah. Jake Paul wouldn't even do that. Let's go to the stakes of burnt small for him. I know. No, ain't too small for him, man. Let me tell you something, bro. I done seen little dudes beat big dudes but down. I seen small. big dudes. I mean, like followers and stuff. Ralph, Ray I ended the whole career. Bro, don't buy my steak. I would die laughing if you really beat Jake Paul, man. Oh, they not burnt. They still good. That would be the funniest fight. Shirley, you want five more? I'll, bro I'll come drop them off. Ooh, she said she's got three kids tonight. She's about to get, no, four more. She can help us out. He said that's funny. I ain't used to all that chip piece. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. They said your name's gonna be the beignet bruiser. <laughs> Smack that boy I home. think we should do it. I think we should. Yeah, what are we going to do? How man? are we going to get that collab going? I, I ain't getting no collab with I him, would personally pay a lot of hey, money. Man, man, hell no. No, to see this go down. What, me smack him down? Yeah, with a beignet. Just go, uh, hit him in the head. With a, hit him with that beignet powder, Brandon. Give him a double punch, bro. Be done. Oh, my God. Jake Paul looks like his mom is still breastfed him. I'll smack that boy down. We said hello, host. Can I have some fries? Is this stream real? Yeah. Why, why do people ask that? Do people fake stream? I don't know. Yo, why do people ask that? Like, genuinely, they say, is it real? What does that mean? Or do people, like, put up pre recorded streams? I don't know. I'm know genuinely people, right? asking, because I don't know. Steaks look bomb. bomb. Ralph, calm down. You are the crawfish daddy. I hit him with that crawfish jab, like they said. Ralph's ring outfit could be big. <laughs> I got a bikini top. Jacqueline, you too much. I'll throw that big hit pot in his eye and then finish him up. What are you going to do? Throw it out in the run? Yeah, yeah. So that pot gets in his eyes, then pop him up a couple times. Wait, you got to let these rest? I wanted to cut one open and see if it was done enough. Mm -hmm. Throw your seasoning in his eyes before you go to work on them. <laughs> you be like, poof, and then run around the ring. That'd be a good one, I guarantee it. Let's cover these out. Jake's 191 pounds. Ralph's rock, rocking 170, 180M Justin. Yeah. Ralph, that's I close. can train you to jujitsu, boxing and kickboxing. Bro, hey, we're going to beat him down quick. We ain't going to need all that. Oh, you can get Diego to uh, train you, baby. Yeah, Sarah's cousin's an MMA fighter. He's in the UFC. Yeah. Call him up. Tell him I need to beat somebody down, bro. Yeah, he'll yeah, help. He's got a whole gym in Atlanta. I'll go, go to Atlanta. For like a month. I'll go to Atlanta for about 30 days, bro. Come back, beat Jake Paul down. And that'll be it. We'll end his little career right there. Good food in his mouth. That's kind of rough. Lizard. I don't think you're going to like that. What do you say? You see. <laughs> you want me to cook a little more for you? A little bit. That's fine, but the inside's a little too raw. I've been oh, my cousin's name, Diego Lama. Diego Lama, baby. L I M A. And his brother is a yeah. uh, fighter. Watch out, baby. Yeah, they both MMA fighters. Who's taking that? Ew, Mayo is on the way. What you mean? What you mean, Mayo is on the way? What's up, Northern Cali? Just a little bit. Thank you, Sonny. Okay. Yeah, Jake, that's my, well, my cousin-in-law. He's married to my cousin. Right. That's my cousin. 
Like we see them when they come down, they come down, they're in Atlanta, Georgia, so they come well, down. They're right outside of Atlanta. Yeah, they're in Georgia, I'm gonna say. But they come down for like Christmas and Thanksgiving, stuff like that. He's really a nice down to earth guy. I'll the nicest that. man I've ever, the most humble and nicest person I've ever I thought when I met him, I was gonna have to smack him down, but he turned out all right, man. I had to do it to him. I'm just lying, bro. That's a big dude, bro. Let me go to the quick talk. cousins down south? Yeah, Shirley's my cousin, too. I might say nice very guy. rare and for and for to go moon this Mary said. Oh, that's not know about I really like all that now. I can like right before medium. Ralph versus Diego. Oh hell no, nah, bro. That's a big dude, bro. Don't don't let them pictures fool you. He's a big dude, bro. I'm like, oh lord. Yeah. Very, very nice guy. Very humble. I I, I tell you, a real nice guy though, man. I ain't never met his brother, but I tell you, he's a real nice guy. He really is. I got to say that. Kids definitely. I know Ralph guy. got the right hand. With that blood. What? On the steak? That's technically not blood. From what I heard. Nah, ain't no blood. Ralph stopped. But kids ain't going to want that, Ralph. I can guarantee it. I cooked some burgers earlier to the fire. All right, that's what I'm talking about, man. Some good stuff, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, babe. I am not fit by no means. I eat all day long. And stress out a lot, so I think that helps keep the weight down. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Diego is a my child fighter. Yeah, he's from Brazil. But I don't really know... I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know a whole lot about his fighting background and his career. I know his brother kicks some asses. They used to be with, before they got with the UFC, they were with someone else. What was that company? Oh, y'all know. Who do you go with before the UFC? I ain't really sure who is it, y'all. Y'all know more than me. And him and his brother opened up a gym and everything, you know. Yeah. I have to go look on Facebook to the name of that. Because honestly, like, when we're together as a family, like, his boxing career really doesn't come up a whole lot. They don't really talk about that. It's more like family, you know? Bruh, OMG, I need a claw. Charlie, you gotta send all the kids home. They driving you to madness. Bellatar. Is that the name of it? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what they were asking. Yeah, yeah. And his brother, I think, won, like... The highest, like, championship, whatever that is, because I don't really watch it all. I mean, I watch it, but not really yep. know of the sport too much. All right. I mean, they good. the luck. They good. They just ain't as good as the baker, bro. I throw them down, beat them down, too. Now I'm playing. We can shut up for I write a check. I can't cash. So I have a chance with a big eye. Don't go to an enclosed space. Very I know that's right. Back you into a corner. I know that's right. Miss Mary, I do not get sunburned, but I always stay red. I don't know why. Always. Hey, you did get sunburned at the party, you lying. Oh, yeah, I did, huh? Yeah, I'm man. lying, Miss Mary. I did get sunburned Sunday. Hey, she's just used to lying, Miss Mary. I'm sorry that she's a liar. I'm not a liar. Y'all don't ever take your damn steaks, bro, and you just... Put it with some french fries. It'll be alright. You need it like that. You need some sour cream and some chives. Some raggedy sour cream. Where's the chives and, and the bacon bits? I ain't got no bacon bits. I got some, maybe I have some chives in there. Man, eat it like that, man. Bro, this, you so raggedy. I need sour cream and all that. Put some Cajun seasoning bone. Bro, I'm getting sour all flustered. Eat it just like that. The good one is Miss Mazzivel versus I don't even know what that is, but I'm going to screenshot it to Ralph to watch it tonight. El Mayor at Ralph. All right, let's try that. Rowan and Kenny came out a handful of markers. Oh, Lord, Shirley, girl. All right, look for her. That's good, I'm telling you. That's good eating right there. People just don't know, man. Oh, that is good. You get them fries. Ralph Raggedy cheesesteak fries. You get them fries right there. You get your steaks going, but it's got to be these fries. You get them steaks going. Said no up. way, Jake. What's he fighting tonight? Jake's fighting tonight. Diego? Oh, I don't know about Diego. Diego's fighting tonight. 
Jay said Diego trains with a guy named Charles. He's fighting for the lightweight title. He'll possibly get McGregor fight if he wins. Wow. Oh, I'm going to that fight. We ain't going. Going. They don't mess with us like that, man. I don't get that much talking about that. I ain't buying no tickets for them fools, man. Y'all better get the big uh, ticket they want me in that stand. I ain't buying no tickets, man. Why? Yeah, I, I want to go see that happen. The big they don't do fights. Unless I'm involved in the fight. That's the only way I go to fights is if I'm involved in the fight. Other than that, I stay my ass home and watch it right down TV. I love your accent, Ralph. Oh, he's not fighting tonight. I love Appreciate the name it. Rowan Shirley. Oh, what's up, Joe? Maybe I should order pay per view on watch tonight since there's nothing good on. Yeah, I think my daughter's gonna. Is, is Alyssa uh, ordering that? Oh! Charles can get the McGregor fight, not Diego. Alyssa, you can order that. I was about to say, I didn't even think they would. Herman? And that same pattern. You can order the fight. I mean, veterans for Ralph would love to see you go to your local VFW and cook for the veterans. Yeah, that would be an awesome opportunity. But right now, y'all know what everything going on. They ain't letting all that happen down right now. You know what I mean? But I do that like one, people. Unfortunately, the fosters can't happen again because we have been getting rain for how many days now? All damn week. All week. Like Literally. six straight days, like heavy rain, and our backyard holds water. So literally, my backyard is like oh, three foot high. Two mil on vapor. Probably like to the really? middle of your shin when you walk back there. And our driveway is like that right now too. And then Jason is two in from the all right, let's see. Damn, you cooking that steak too much, they said. Yeah, the kids ain't gonna like it. The kids don't like it like that, y'all. I'm gonna guarantee you that love. The kids are gonna want it so well done. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, they could be. Yeah, this steak's been done for us, but for the kids. I like it like this. I like it like this. Yeah, Alyssa likes it like that, but. They like this stuff yeah, burnt like, the like, a, like a meatball. Well, the pressure like parker, they have. That thing's gonna be a hockey puck. Yep, yeah, I ain't on. We'll just cut it in strips right now. Yes, that is true. The, the rain makes the home more crazy. No, not cozy. The y'all said cozy. Crazy. These kids are going so stir crazy, it ain't fun. Joe said hello, Alyssa. Alyssa. Hi. I'm with Joe the kids. Said hello. Hi! Sharita, I used to be like that, but then I got over, as long as like the texture doesn't taste too raw, then I'm good. And I got over like the blood looking stuff. Ralph the Baker's still ready, y'all. I'm just saying to get on his nerves. Who said that? Curly. <laughs> Curly ain't shit, man. Y'all don't listen up. She's all like keto food, bro. She don't even eat weed, y'all. She eats like uh, rice made out of broccoli and stuff, bro. She don't know how this good food is, man. We'd love to see you cook some brisket. Yeah. They love brisket in Texas. Pour a little water onto that. From the meat drippings, that makes the best steak sauce. All right, huh? Yeah, the kids like this, man, all the way cooked. I guarantee you. Them kids, I give to them. Oh, my God. It's got blood. And they won't touch it. What's up, U.S. Army's in here off to Kuwait tonight. You guys take care. Be safe. You oh, be man. safe and thank you for your yeah, service. We appreciate, we appreciate the service. Wow. Where'd you go? Kuwait. Wow, that's awesome. We appreciate the service for sure. Ralph needs the apron. His mama bought him one and it says, let's go with Ralph the Baker and he never wears it. Oh, I want some steak. She said, I'm on keto because I ate too much good food, duh, old raggedy ass. You can't never eat too much. I can say that right now. No such thing as eating too much good food. That's so know. true. What other person did you want to say? Yeah. Love you videos. That looks good. Our fridge died. Second time in a month. Replaced 10-year-old unit now. What up? Aw. Oh, I'm sorry, endless tragedy. His fridge keeps going out. What's wrong with the fridge? Keep? Fridge keeps going out. Oh hell no! I know the feeling on that man. I've been there before. 
But Kale says I ate too much, she said. <laughs> what's up, Preston from Seabrook, Texas? What's up, what's up, Texas? Oh, your dad's in here. What's up, Pop? Hello, Pop. Hello, Pop. Stop, Preston. Stop, stop. Who ever said that? Thank you, guys. All right, this ought to be about how the kids eat it. I'm going to show you how the kids eat it right now. Do you ever come to St. Louis, baby? Man. I want to go to St. Louis, and I ain't never been there, man. Wasn't your dad born there? Yeah, my dad was born in St. Louis. Yeah, we were born there. Washington's in the house? No, y'all, this, this is how you got to cook a filet for them kids right here. I guarantee it. Any less than that, forget about it. Hang it up. They don't want it. Oh, your mom's in here, baby. What's up, mama? Hello, mama. Mama. Hey, mama. Yeah, mama. And the PlayStation's working, mama. And the PlayStation is working, mama. So these are the best fries, I'm telling y'all. For real. Take Charlie said I don't like jalapenos, Ralph. Charlie, okay, wait, hold on. And go I again. don't like jalapenos <laughs> at all. Huh? They're gross to me. I don't like spicy food. Like that one. And I told Ralph, I said, now you gonna need all these bowls of peanuts and I can't have none. And what I told you. And so I did try it. They were phenomenal. I didn't taste the jalapenos. It wasn't too spicy. I really thought, because he even put the seeds in there. And I was like, oh my God, it's going to be so hot. I can't even touch it. I was shocked. I swear. Didn't taste like jalapeno. No, you got to get it. But I gave it a good flavor. I swear, I'll tell I'm being honest, girl. If my ex cooked like Ralph, he may, might still be around. <laughs> <laughs> no crazy. Oh, it's terrible. I lost hundreds of dollars worth of food. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It sucks, man. I tell you, man. It happens at the worst time, usually, you know? That's right, Jake. The seeds hold all the heat. That's why I was like, holy cow. This shit's going to be so hot. But surprisingly, it wasn't. Like it gave it a good, it gave it a good flavor, but not like the, the spiciness you can't handle. Right. No, it was good stuff, man. No, raw peanuts, Charlie, not roasted. Raw yeah. peanuts in the shell. You get or it anywhere, Ross's or, or whatever, hey, when Dixie, anywhere. But Charlie, you might do better putting them suckers in the crock pot. They take a long time, man. at least three hours, I'm telling you, if not four. What's up, Utah? Are you from the South and don't like spicy? Juice, I just... Now, what my level of spicy is compared to, like, other people's might be really spicy because we're just accustomed to naturally spice, spicy foods. But, like, I just don't want my mouth on fire. I just find I don't enjoy food with my mouth on fire. I'd rather have the flavor than the spice. Mm-hmm. It's just me. Y'all like peanuts and cook. I know my mom puts like peanuts in her Sprite. I don't ever knew why people did that. <laughs> Actually, the ribs of the pepper hold all the heat. Oh, Lord. The steak looks delicious. Right, I'm asking questions because I'm sure I'm, the only, I'm not the only one wondering. Oh, Charlie was saying that about the thing. Oh, yeah. Speaking of exes, me and a, the girl recently split up. Means I'm open for Christy now. Uh-oh, Jake. Christy B, I don't think she's in here right now. I'm going to have to let her know. She must have not gotten that notification, man. She's like busy. I'm from the South, and I hate Southern food. Being from the South don't mean nothing, Shirley said. I ate a jalapeno habanero and a Shirley's ghost Shirley's very chili different, bro. Shirley don't eat jambalaya. Shirley don't eat gumbo. Shirley don't eat nothing we eat. So I don't know where the hell. I don't think she's really from here. Thank you, Lauren. Put salted peanuts in your Coke. My mouth just watered. All right, now. Jakey J said, what's good, Ralph? What's up, Jake? <laughs> Jake, give her a call. Right. Um, what's the first thing you ever cooked, baby? Shit. I don't remember. Mm. I'd be lying if I told you. Hell, it's been a long time. You're talking 25 damn years plus ago. I don't even know. I'd be I lying if I, I told you, y'all. Yeah. Do you eat the uh, peanut wet or dry? Or do you dry them? Not wet. You just take them out of the juice and then put them in a bowl. That's it. And eat them up. Mm -hmm. Eat them on up, yeah. 
Why do you guys still have frozen fries defrosted on the counter? <laughs> What these? Uh, the other bag. Oh, the other this bag is empty. This thing's going to trash. Yeah, I guess y'all's going to cook those too. You got as many kids as us. You do a lot of hair fries, y'all. You know? When you gonna make some banana pudding? Shit, yeah, I got the banana pudding up there, y'all. Mhm. Mm I should be on here on YouTube. It is. Both banana puddings is up there two different ways. Y'all know down here we got banana pudding hot. He said there's only room for one Jake in his house. <laughs> What's good? What's good, Ralph? You have the grind? Appreciate you, man. What's the best thing you ever ate? Best thing I ever ate? Shoot, boy. That's a hard one. I love barbecue shrimp. Y'all know that. So that's my favorite. But I mean, I love jambalaya. I mean, I love gumbo. I love all kind of stuff, y'all. So now they get a sauce be gone. I mean, that's just no ending to me. Chicken stew is good. It just is never ending. I ate all the steak. Okay. I didn't save you one. Okay. I ain't hungry. I, I didn't mean that. You ain't got any more steak? Hell no. That's it. Sorry, baby. I don't want that. We need some cannabis tea. Oh. I forgot a pan set on now. You got me learning to cook crawfish. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> Jake said, told Jakey, Jake, you're stealing my thunder, man. I swear you're from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, shit, man. No cocktails tonight, man? Oh, talking about the shrimp. Nah, no. We just drinking water and taking a little break so we get some stuff done. Now, a lot of orders. Like I said, we put them fresh shrimp. Y'all, the fresh Louisiana shrimp is up on the website. So I just been handling some business, man, and uh, we'll drink when the time is right. But tonight, last week, I ain't drinking over a week. I've been having, just handling business, man, and... Doing a lot of cooking and stuff, you know? Ralph, well, what do you think it costs to run a restaurant on a monthly basis, Joe Sutton? Joe, I, I'd be lying if I, I, I had no idea, Joe, because I ain't never done it, brother. I, I'd be the line if I told you. I really don't know, Joe. That, that, that there, I just don't know. It depends what it is, what you're serving, how big your menu is, how big is your, your facility. Do they eat in? Do they just take it out? Is it five tables? Is it 15 tables? There's so many different things. Small is better to me. You know, it's always good to have a line at your restaurant anyway. Let them know about the uh the shrimp, baby. We got the, uh, oh, yeah, because Juice, Juice Jones asked, so <coughs> Juice, yes, they can be shipped to Washington. Yes. So this is the deal with the shrimp, y'all. It's going to come in a box, like an insulated box. Like styrofoam. Yeah, like the styrofoam, like ice chest kind of thing on the inside of the box. Packed with yeah, like dry ice and know. gel packs and all of that to oh keep it God. very, very cold. It's yeah. going to be used with like a, a certain kind of um, USPS shipping to get it there quickly within two days. Um, so that your fresh remain, I mean your shrimp remain frozen. Now it can only be done within the United States. We're not capable of shipping it internationally and I don't even know if that's if that's even a possibility but we can't do that but anyways in the United States okay. now we only are going to ship the shrimp like depending on when you order Monday through Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday because we want to make sure that it doesn't extend it you know USPS doesn't extend it out to the weekend and hold your stuff at the facility since it's a perishable item because it's not going to be frozen it's just going to be on ice so Sarah's saying frozen, but it's just going to be frozen ice. It's not going to be literally frozen. It's going to be fresh shrimp, put down on ice, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So they're never going to be frozen. And if I was you, I wouldn't even freeze them when you get them. I'd cook them up just like that so you can get the real, see how good they are. Bro, Jakey Jake and Jake Z are like going to war over who's the better Jake in the comments section. Now y'all crazy, bro. They got like box of gloves out. Rob is a fellow home chef. I have a favorite cut of beef to prep with a filet guy. Do you? A5 Wagyu is a hard to beat bite to bite, but filet mignon is my cut. I love filet. That's what we just did, three filets. I didn't want to do some of the A5 to give it a try, because I never had tried it, to be honest with you. But I can't find it down here, y'all. I have yet to find it or see it or anything like that. Um. Okay, so yes, it can be shipped to Pennsylvania. So we are gonna get them fresh from like the seafood people, like fresh out the Gulf. So 
The shrimpers literally were swimming a few minutes prior to them catching it and us purchasing it. So we arranged that with his people beforehand with orders to get that aligned so that when they catch them, we're ready to get them and then we can package them up and then have them ready for, ship for shipping. Yep. What's up, New Jersey? Damn, bro, it's raggedy, bro. It feels so late in the name and dark outside yet, bro. Okay, so they're only being sold by 10 pound increments right now, and the count is like a 1620. 1620? Beautiful. So anybody that's not familiar with that, a 1620 is like 16, the amount pounds. of shrimps you would get per pound. So you get between 16 to 20 shrimps per pound, and that's really a nice size. That's pretty good size. That's what I always buy. Every time I buy shrimp, y'all, it's a beautiful, I like 1620. They're nice. Hey, hey, from Idaho, finally caught y'all live. What's, What's up, up Gypsy Soul? Up? Hey, Ralph, number one, man to see how to cook. New Orleans style, keep up the good work. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Best cook on YouTube. I appreciate it, y'all. I do. Okay, so right now, guys, we don't have any crawfish available. I'm working on that. And no though. crabs. It's just shrimp right now. We're I got a crab connection last night. So yeah. I can get the crabs, but it's just figuring out how to ship it. Yeah. At a reasonable price, because y'all already know it can get expensive quick. Yeah, because the crawfish work different. Because the, the shrimp are fresh. However, crawfish, you have to cook them live. Well, you can get them there, but, but yeah, you're going to pay a lot of Yeah, we just money. are trying to figure that out. So we don't have anything but the shrimp right now. Shrimp. I love the accent. Sounds like Louisiana. That's where we at, Louisiana, baby. Actually, who is the better Jake is. FYI, I'm from Homo. <laughs> Oh, we got home in the house, all right. He said he likes you, you like your southern voice. <laughs> oh my god. Have you ever been involved in high school wrestling? No, I haven't, you know. I have not been involved in no wrestling. Oh, because you know I probably did you had that Riverdale wrestling shirt on in that video. Yeah, I don't know where I got that shirt from, man. I, I don't know where it came from, but yeah. Yes, Melly's got the okay guys, so y'all don't forget. Melly was putting in the comments about the meet and greet. Oh, May yeah. 15th, if y'all are out in this area, we're having a meet and greet. Um, well, if you ain't out in this area, you want to have a good time, you fly on it. I guarantee it. A good time down here, no? Shelly said you really think Ralph wrestled with those noodles? Shelly, bro. You know how many alligators I wrestled in my life, bro? None. Who? You. Wrestled one or two. Bro, quit lying to these fishing people. Bowl, man. Yeah, you popped the line. You didn't even have a strong enough line, much less strong enough arms, pencil boy. Uh, Y'all see how big these arms are, bro? I just don't like to show them off too much. They're really about, they're about 14 inches around right now. Yes, so the <laughs> website y'all would go to, uh, guys, for the shrimp is Ralph's website, bakers101.com. <coughs> it's in the description as well. He said one or two. Thank you, Zero. Joe sent you over two dollars. Pencil, check your text messages after the live. <laughs> All right, Joe. Why are they playing with Man, you? got that Cajun cough happening with these Cajun peanuts, man. But I tell y'all what, for my people that like some ball peanuts, I got a video coming for y'all on here tomorrow. Boy, I guarantee you. Y'all try these right here. I would recommend to put them in there. Yeah, they're all right, saying, are we all right, for? Oh, I like. I put the moon on. All, all right, right, we good. Let me know, y'all. Let me know if we're good again. I got a call. I forgot they had put the thing on the damn thing. All right, are we back on, y'all? Back. Back. We was at 150. We dropped 78 right quick. Right quick in the house, B. All right, we back. They said we back. James right, Sharita, Bridget. Oh, y'all some loyal the people. Huh? They didn't go nowhere. These are the loyal people. They didn't leave people us. Right here, they ain't going to be chilling right now. We hanging out, having a good time. All right, y'all. Y'all don't go nowhere is that quick. Y'all know Ralph's raggedy. Don't know how to use the phone, okay? Don't know how to do all of this technology. I forgot to put that moon on, y'all. Please tell us again how you wrestled the beers. <laughs> and a time or two in my life, I had to wrestle them gators down, beat them down, punch them on the nose, y'all. Nah, I didn't do all that. I did catch some on a fishing pole, for real. That's a true story. But Saturday night line, they did get away. You ain't gonna lie on that. Y'all let me get these here fries off, okay? Wait, Ralph saw what I said about the 
cafeteria lady. Oh, no, Shirley, I think we went frozen. Sarah, real raggy, huh? Yeah, he is, Paige. He's real raggy. I ain't alive, right? I thought it was my internet. No, it's just Ralph don't, uh, he don't know how to uh, handle all of this technology. Ah, you hot bitch. Excuse my language, y'all. I'd be shitting myself if I'm reeling in a thinking I'm reeling in a fish and a gator came out the water. Oh no, you really do. Sarah can say I'm lying, but I've been crossing alligators in my fishing pole down the airline. For real, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't bring them on into the dock because I couldn't because they were too big, you know, but... Shirley said you got cafeteria lady arms, old Raymond Noodle ass. Dang, bruh, Shirley, shut up, bruh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to tell everybody the truth that you're from up north, bruh. Let me go telling everybody everything. See you take care of y'all. Get your occasion season ready. You gotta put some on that, man. <laughs> RJB! Ralph took off his shirt in that hot tub stream and nearly broke my arm because there was so much man in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Jake. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Jake. Jake Z said that. I think he's trying to, like, you, call me that? you know, you get some, on uh, your good side since fries? he's got competition. <laughs> y'all crazy. Want some cheese fries? I got some filet steak ready. You want to make a plate? It would be nice, Dumb to all. Hey, bro. It's just that. Dang, bring it on with the hot fries. I used to live by the church. Hey, hold up, hold up, y'all. My son just came out. Wait, wait, come here, come here. Let me see that money. I just want to show him, bro, y'all. I want to show y'all how he rolls, bro. Hold up. You know what happened, bro. Don't sound sad. Look, y'all. You did that. Y'all remember when y'all was a kid, bro, and you would go get all ones, bro? Look. You did that, bro. Don't say that. All these ones, man. Look. No, first off, you was gambling. Yeah, man, man. go ahead, man. Take your ones, bro. You a pimp. my twenties, bro. You a pimp, bro. <laughs> Big pimp daddy, bro. Y'all leave my baby alone. Big pimp daddy, man. He's just trying to, he's just trying to flex on the Snapchat, okay, y'all? Y'all just yeah. stop hating on my baby. He don't know no better yet. You take dad's money. Strip club. Man, you going to the strip club? What else? He said that shit say yeah. youngin'. <laughs> Oh, I don't care. It's something else, man. I do need a rubber band. I need a wallet. You know what's surprising, huh? You know where he and Ralph are going with those ones? Good thing Sarah's going. No, I'm right here, Jake. They ain't going nowhere with my baby. No, I do Y'all, y'all don't play my baby. He's a minor on the age. He ain't going nowhere. He can go sit down in his room and play Fortnite. And I'm just the money just coming up. Age ain't money. I mean, age don't matter. On the screen, is that delayed? No, people are still just talking about it. I see it on your phone. Oh, yeah, mine's delayed, yeah. Because of the ads. <laughs> is, that's what it's called now, playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I remember getting 20s in oh. one thing, and it looked good back in middle school. <laughs> that's right. That's what you done. It's time to make it rain. Oh, Lord. Act, RJ's acting like he's going to make it rain at the club. <laughs> Act like you, man. Oh my god. Ralph is funny. I love his fries too. I'm gonna get him at Kroger's. Hey, He's gonna walk to the store it, right quick. Hey, bro. Fine. Hey, good. Oh no, Chris. No, no, no. Can't take him when he's 18. Oh, you can't yeah. turn him out like that. Can you go 18? You gotta be 21. Out here? Yeah. I think you gotta be 21, don't you? Yeah, you gotta be 21 out here. For real? I yeah, think so. They don't want you going in there and seeing nothing if you can't buy drinks. That's how they make the club make money. That's stupid. <laughs> you seen any pink dolphins? What? Oh, I worked at a listen. Holiday Inn picking up flight crews and I got tips every day. I went to open up a bank account and had three, four and fifty in ones. The lady <laughs> banker looked at me strange. I told her I was a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Mama sound like she knows too much. <laughs> Look, I never said I was an innocent person by no means. Mm -mm. far from that, no. Your mama ain't innocent, boy. You just smacked. Do you guys, um, send me aunt. Yeah, we do check the email, but if we haven't responded, please send us another one. Because sometimes it might go to the spam folder. That happens a lot. Or, and I, honestly, I've just kind of been behind on responding to emails the last couple of days. I ain't gonna lie, I'm sorry. Ralphie, roll those fries with the cheese. We have some 18 plus clubs and 20 plus boy. clubs. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. 
I tried going to the club when I was 18, barely got my foot in the door. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what's crazy, What position did you play on football, baby? D lineman. D lineman. D lineman, Joe. Cajun cat dad. The last game, they laid him down. That's cat. That. Don't lie to them like that. <laughs> Lay it all day down, bro. I got more than. Eight sets more over this more than that. They brought him out a stretcher, bro. Stop. I was watching a show on monsters. Ever seen a what you call a rougarou? Mm. What's that? What's a rougarou? It's a Am I saying it right? It's a myth. A rougarou. Yeah. It's a myth out in Louisiana. Look up a rougarou. What did I ask? What is it supposed to be? How many sacks you had this season, baby? Over ten. Over like, ten? Mm hmm. Easy over 10. Yeah, 10. He played what, six games? Until he got laid down. Stop playing. Y'all talking about clubbing and I'm 31 playing Super Mario with my nine year old right now. The club ain't for me. All right. I feel you, Ashley. That's a good thing. Club ain't shit, man. Number trouble out the club, man. No, that's my son. That's that's our oldest son, y'all. The one that played football. Okay. Ralph don't play no football. He was the water boy. Uh -huh. Right here. Yo, big, yo, listen to him. He don't play no football. Big 14 years old. He got pencil arms, too. Let's see your pencil arms. Show Joe your pencil arms. Mm, bro. I might do that on camera, bro. Well, you're embarrassing <laughs> him, baby. I do that, I'm going to have to show you off. Don't embarrass my baby. Don't. I don't want to embarrass your husband. Nice, so he's an edge rusher. Keep it up, RJ. Get that free cotton. That's what I'm saying, Joe. We need scholarships around here, please. A full scholarship. <laughs> we ain't gonna give him being laid out, Sarah. My baby! Oh, that's crazy, this <laughs> bracket. I get to it. Stop. Y'all look like, yes, Kyla, that's the one he did the prank on with the ding song. Oh, that was good. Now, let's see, y'all. That, that was good. Where you going? All right, y'all, hold on. <laughs> what that? I don't care about that. What that? Now, let me plug it in, y'all, so we can have light. Yeah. All right. Wait, hold on. I gotta text my dad. All right, y'all. I think we're good to go now. Now we got to happen. All right. Show us the 
they just continue to kill it in Louisiana. All right. Just for another week or two or three, who knows? Ralph, invest in Digibyte? <coughs> oh, I followed something wrong with Shirley told me to buy some, uh, I didn't say them, them, them coins, them Dodge coins or something. I bought them just $100 worth. And then I went to bed and I woke up, it was 158 and I ain't checked it all day. I don't know what it is now. Lord of mercy. <coughs> you ever eat alligator? Oh, yeah, man. We eat fried alligator. They got alligator uh, on the shish kebabs. They got alligator sauce pecan. All kind of alligators, man. Ralph the bagel, of course, is going around him, man. He don't, want to, he, don't want to, he don't know about no flavor, man. I tell you, all he knows about salt and pepper. Okay, let's see. Hold up. Y'all let me an alligator. Uh, just hanging out, y'all. Uh, Lord, mercy. Shirley, you a fool. Can you? Yeah, yeah, you come sit down. Shirley's like, if you say something inappropriate, I ain't letting the shit slide. Who's Shirley's on one tonight? She's got all the kids over there, and she said she's going to take it out. Of What's she going to do? Is she babysitting our five kids? No, they have a couple of hers. She, she just uh, have like one most of the time, but she's got three. So, y'all, did y'all buy in any of these uh, here coins, y'all? Let me know. My dog. You, you trying, you thing ain't, I see it moving here, I don't see it moving here. Yes, it is. Probably my kind of cooking, you the man. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the cooking and the recipes. That's awesome, you know. All right, I don't know what you read. I ain't read nothing. I seen Shirley was the last one. I laughed that day. It wasn't moving. All right, let's see. They said, nope, they too broke. Ralph, BS, no BS, Ralph. Digibyte will take off. I, I guess I'm saying, I'm going to screenshot that because I don't know what I'm saying. All right, bro. Y'all make me go buy something. My money ain't that right, bro. But I'm going to have to get a few nickels worth, bro. I went down. I'm up on safe I, moon. I was supposed to go to the moon last time. I ended up in the canal. All right. What you think is better? Slap your mama or Tony's? Slap your mama. Tony's is very generic tasting. But my season is better than both of them. I guarantee. I agree with that. All right. Let's see. I'm up on the safe move. Kevin, what you want? Flipped 1K and a 38K off a Dodge coin in a year. So I'm Ooh, talking about, all man. right, Kevin, we might need a, a loan. I'm just playing. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Uh, I got some Dodge coins that made 400% of my investment in a week. Damn. So when do you take out? Like, you are 400%. When do you take out? Or when do you say, all right, I better get out or I sell some or keep some? What, what do you do? How do you know? Whatever else from Florida, we got the blue crabs on the bull now. All right, Florida, I see that. I know that's gonna be some good eating. I guarantee it. I wish I was eating some blue crabs. What do you put your seasoning on, baby? Every damn thing. Everything. My chicken. Alligator. Every meal we cook, you use red beans. I just use it on French fries. I use it on the steak. I use it the damn thing on everything. So Ralph has a Cajun seasoning, which is like an all-purpose seasoning kind of a thing. We use that on pretty much every dish Ralph makes or I attempt to make, but don't, my cooking kind of sucks. No, but anyway. Let me show y'all how video is speaking of that, bro. Hold on, I gotta show y'all this, bro. Hold wow. on, I gotta show y'all this, bro. I got to do this to him. Let me show y'all, this is what Sarah's day consisted of today. Hold on. It was not the most productive day, okay? I did some tiktok and okay? Sorry we're not all celebrity chefs like you. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you got plans. You got plans. Don't say that. Can y'all read that? Safe moon. What the hell is a safe moon? 
Save Moon. All right, let's see. I think I'm behind. What is the best count shrimp for cooking two? I mean, I like 1620s, y'all. That's the ones we got up there on the website. I, I just like 1620s. I think they're good. They're not, they're definitely not small and they're not big and rubbery either. So 1620s, man, beautiful shrimp. Ralph, is your teaspoon of seasoning equivalent to two tablespoons? Because your teaspoons seem huge. <laughs> yeah, they, they're a little bit bigger than they're supposed to be. You know, you can always be generous with your seasoning, man. It'll be all right. It's going to be good. All right, let's see. I'm out. Have a good night, y'all. All right, Thank man. You. Have a wonderful night. New view here. I love the videos. How long have you guys been married and how many kids? Lovely family. Hey, we appreciate you. So we've been married 14 years. And we got five kids, y'all. So it's been a long time, man. Sarah just stole my whole damn life, man. I just steal your whole wait, hold on. I just steal your whole life. <laughs> I just got that. You stole my whole life. Oh man, here we go. Let me go check them Cajun peanuts cooking. Hold up. Where y'all from, baby? We right outside New Orleans, y'all, in Jefferson Parish. Jefferson Parish, baby. Big family, love it. Yeah, we got a big family. Ralph comes from a big family. Ralph has three sisters. He's got, I want to say we got like, what, 26, 27 nieces and nephews on his side alone. So we, he's got a big family. Ralph, less is more, less is more. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is so relaxing to watch. Charlie said, bring me some seasoning to Pammy's meet and greet. I'll pay for it. If not, I'll just buy Ronnie's seasoning. Uh, Who's she talking about Ronnie? She's Charlie. Talking about, she's talking about her brother's seasoning. I know she's, I know she's playing. I know she's playing with me today, right? Yep. Charlie's been over to my house multiple times and ain't never got your cup. Never got no seasonings to take Bro, she didn't take her cup the other day? No, I Break told her. I said, why you didn't tell me to give you a cup when you came wow, over? Oh, you ain't take your birthday present. Bread rude, bro. Bro, you better get off my table before you break it. How you didn't take your birthday present? Raggedy, bro. I ain't lying, bro. She said, y'all ain't give it to me. Damn, that's raggedy. Where's that damn cup? Let's go. Do you, uh, do you ever watch that dude can cook? No, I don't know who the hell that dude from Cook is, man. No. I'd be lying. You said I'm on mushrooms. All right. All right, Christy Powell. What they on? Mushrooms. What the hell they doing on mushrooms? I don't know. I guess living their best life. But for real, I'm almost out of seasoning. How the hell do I get Zatarain to New Zealand for to import? What?
But we don't really get called that a whole lot because we're not as Cajun. That's like more the Cajun Cajun dude. But yeah, they do take it as a bad. Yeah, they do take it as a bad. Anyone that gets called that is a, it is a bad of honor most of the time. But no, it's not, a, it's not offensive. I'm cooking dad rice, dirty rice, tonight and fried chicken. All right? That sounds good enough. We just talked like that. I find Ralph sounds more bayou than hood. You think, Charlie? I don't know. I don't know. Everyone says that. I don't even sound like I'm from here. Like I'm from New Jersey or something. I guess everybody's accent is different. And that's hot. What? What's up, Ralph and Sarah? What's up, Miss Rita? What do y'all think of Popeye's biscuits? Because low key, I think they're the best. J J Powell, I love Popeye's biscuits. <clears throat> they're bomb. Let me know what you think on that. Let them do the task. It's going. hot. Man, hold on, man. Just gonna eat it cold. Wait, hold on. Ooh, Charlie is playing with me tonight. Ooh, Charlie, I'm gonna. You gonna get it, Charlie? She said, "See." She said, that's my brother, sounding like I'm from New Jersey. I think Shelly, uh, drinking mm. the cloth. Oh my God, it's so good, Ralph. They ready to soak now? I think they're perfect like that. I don't think they really need a soak. Right. I mean, that's my, my thing. We'll take them out there. I'm going to take these out here. Let me take these out, baby. All right, all right. Yeah, so we are a Jefferson Parish. We live in Jefferson Parish. I'm going to show them to you, Tell them I'm going to show them to you. Hey, Ralph. She said, no, I'm just finally able to chill. I got jokes tonight. I see that, Charlie. I see. There's nothing wrong with that, no. I'm currently looking more and more. It runs in my family. How long did it take you to get that good? Me? Mm-hmm. Oh. Not me. No, good. Not good. Good what? I cook it. Oh, you, man, I guess me. that's what they mean. I don't know. Y'all saying hood? He hood? said hood. I don't know. What the hell are we talking about at this point? Well, you know, Not hood. cooking is like anything else, man. Practice makes perfect. The more you cook, the better you get. Yeah. They're real good. You like boiled peanuts? That was boiled peanut, y'all. Ralph's been making up a couple batches of boiled peanuts. Ooh, spicy. Ralph Ooh, is cooking uh, bacon. my nose. Sarah's got that Nola New York accent. I'm not from America, but I didn't know about New Orleans until my favorite TV show, The Originals. What? Time to enjoy, baby. Oh. All good. All it's is good. So good. Oh my God, Charlotte, come get some. Okay, what do I do? Peel it off. like a peanut. Yeah, and eat the inside. Not on my table, little girl. You better get you a bowl or something. People from Jefferson Parish sound similar to people in Brooklyn. Really? <clears throat> well, yeah, I guess so. That's probably why I get that. Sarah sounds like she's from North Jersey, and Rob sounds like he's straight out of. She, how do you say that? No, Chicana, chicken, chips. I don't know. All right, not bad. Let's put them on here, all right? When y'all eat them, just put them down right there. Mmm. Me and my roommate love watching your videos. We want to do a seafood bowl. Yes, indeed, man. Yeah, you do it. I know that's right. That's awesome. I'm doing burnt ends right now. Ooh, that's hot. That's some good stuff. I don't know where I sound like I'm from. Sometimes I sound good. Sometimes I sound suburban. Shirley, you sound like you straight from the West Bank. I ain't gonna lie. Sound more hood. You know what's the sense? You sound more hood. You don't think I need a silk home? That steam looks like you guys are smoking a fatty. <laughs> All right, now. How far are y'all from feet? Got some Kim folks over there. Probably. What, almost three hours? Two and a half, three hours? I think two and a half. Mm -hmm. Probably two and a half hours. But we were outside in the wilderness, y'all. Y'all got to try this. Uh, let me show y'all. What's up, boy? What's up, Canada? Thank you. Y'all see that though? We ate all the steak. See all that seasoning up on them? Mm -mm. <clears throat> all the steak's gone. I'm really shocked that the jalapenos didn't really make it taste like a jalapeno. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do pickled jalapenos though. Because I think then it might give it that. 
Some people don't know about things that you were too nice out of wrong one. And they're good. They got a little kick to them, don't get me wrong now. But not, not like tremendously. Now Lafitte. Lafitte is different than Lafayette. Lafitte's about 25 minutes on the West Bank from us. Yeah. Lafayette is almost, what, three hours away from us. So that's two different places. Um, All right. If you keep going, I could definitely see you reaching a million subs. We ain't got no plans to stop it, babe. I never had boiled peanuts. Are they soft? So, yeah. So, they are softer. They're not, like, mushy soft. Like, the way Ralph did them. They're harder than, like, the kind you get in a can. They're not as mushy like that. Like, a bean. It's you a little bit going, But, like, you want to have a little texture to them. Like, yeah, you don't want them mushy soft. So, and they just spice stuff. They hot. It's so much better hot. It is cold. Ten <laughs> times better. And you throw your bahu onion in there, y'all? Two fresh jalapenos, you cut them up, put the video up over here tomorrow, y'all. But, you don't even see the jalapenos no more. All you see, you see the little seeds from the jalapenos, but you don't see the jalapenos in them no more. Man, they good though, I'll tell you that much. No, now you squeeze it, look. Take it, squeeze it, boom. Look at that juice drip down here, look at that. I guarantee it. Ooh, I've never had deep fried peanuts before. They said you eat them whole, with the shell and all. Deep fried. The hell? I've never had them. Like you fry, do you batter them or something? Or you just eat, just <laughs> fry them in the oil? Could be. Oh, sounds interesting. Is it better to eat them hot or cold? I think the hot, Miss Gina, I prefer, like if I'm gonna eat boiled hot peanuts, I want them hot. But they still gonna be good when they're cold. Yeah, but. Now you put the rest of them in the refrigerator right there in a baggie, you know what I mean? Next day, they're gonna be good. This is good quality entertainment radio, cooking fun, banner, just good people. Thank That's you, first of all. Appreciate you. Yeah, this is a good time, man. Just cooking, hanging out, y'all talking, and just having a good time, man. That's it. All right, Joseph's got a serious question for you. Okay, let's go. Do you ever think about going on Shark Tank to take things to the next level? I think they would be all over you. Nah, they don't want to help a brother out, man. They don't want to help you. It just appears that they want to help you. But reality is, nobody, nobody helps you, man. You got to build your own way up and you don't get there. You know, that's one thing I think I learned in my life is that if you ever go back and watch stories or read stories or look at something, the rich and successful, man, nobody helped them get there. They had to fight their way to the top or they had mommy and daddy's money. But the world is set for you to stay where you are. So if you're going to get to the top, what are you going to do? You're going to go there and give them 50-60% of you, your value, for what? Because they got money? You, you just figure out your way, man. You get there one way or another. If I want a food truck bad enough, <clears throat> anybody knows me will tell you, I have a food truck here, but I guarantee you. If I want a restaurant, sorry to tell you. I, I get me a restaurant, I guarantee you. It's just kind of like being content in life and nobody helps you, you know what I'm saying? When, when you go before people that got all that money, they only there to be vultures, man, and take what they can get from you, use you, bro, and... Man, hell with them shark tanks, man. Call somebody that you know is rich. Call somebody that you know that's rich. And say, hey, man, fell into a hard time, man. I know I never asked you for money before, but you got about five grand I can borrow, two grand, or even 300. See what they tell you. See what they tell you. See how that goes. Let me know. Know what they're going to tell you? Man, I wish I had it, man, but I can't do nothing for you, brother. Um, all right, hold on. Well, you got a number, man. I'm blessed, y'all. I got a, y'all got this huge following. I got 400,000 followers on TikTok. I got almost 130,000 here. I got Instagram, Facebook. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed beyond measure. Let me tell you, I mean, I, I'm content. I'm happy. I'm tremendously blessed. Met so many awesome people from here and TikTok and stuff, man. I... I I couldn't really ask for more. I'll be honest with y'all. Yeah, that's true, Jake. He said even if Ralph got off from the Shark Tank, I think it would affect his brand in a bad way. The way Ralph is blowing up today is why we all love the channel. Puts the people first before the business. 
Yeah, and, and it is. And don't get me wrong, I mean, a lot of people, Jake, you know, a lot of people do support me. They buy my seasonings and they buy any shrimp and they help me and that, that's how I keep on going and making everything and, and being able to, you know, do videos. But at the end of the day, it ain't all just about all success, you know, and all money. You know, we genuinely have a good time, you know what I mean? So, it's just a good time, man. It's just a good time and it's like, everything will come in time. If it's meant to be, you get it, but let me get these kids because he's meant to get a slap or two with him. Well, stop. that's what life's about. You're gonna get more to it. Rich people always cry for poor people always pretend they got it. You tell them. I'm no longer rich people always cheap as stuff. I wrote them all off last year. Yes, so Ralph makes his own seasoning, Chad. Um, I'm just catching up. Um, you should start classes and teach cooking for people. I bet you make a killing. Yeah, Hunter. So he has been talking about doing like a, a Zoom type of cooking Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, he's going to be trying to start that next month or maybe June. Trying to see like what the interest is and like setting that up. Because most of his following is out of state. So it would probably be easier to do like online classes for people. Yeah, like mail them the seasonings that we're going to need for that cooking so we we all have the same exact thing and the same seasoning so we can literally cook it together, learn together, and, and you know, just get to know each other. You know what I mean? I can speak for the entire chat when I say that's why we love watching y'all. Y'all truly do this because you love it and we yeah. love that fact. We appreciate it. We do. No, we do. We, we love you guys. And if we weren't having a good time, man, we wouldn't do it. We truly, this is something I'm going to tell you. A lot of times, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't love it, you don't love to cook, you don't like to be on social media, you deal with a lot. So, if you don't love it, you don't last. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is rough, man. You come across a lot of trolls and you deal with a lot of stuff. And uh, so, but it's hard to thick skin for this. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's a Sometimes little... I don't know how Ralph does it. And being like publicly put out there like that because a lot of people are not nice at all. I'd probably be in the corner crying. <laughs> I'm being serious. I don't know if I could have that kind of success and fame like you did. I think it would really get to me. You know, it's just like any other thing. You know, you take the good with the bad and you put the bad to the side. You don't worry about it, man. You're ragging it anyway, man. The hell with them. You know? Um. Yeah, so a food truck may be in the future um, right now with all of the craziness that's going on in life. But it's starting to get better, man. Things are starting to get better out here where we're at. So, you know, when Ralph got, he tried to do like a, he was looking into doing a food truck at one point a few years ago before, you know, any of the right internet stuff. Um, and just financially, it was kind of like a really big risk for us. And then like there was like permits and there was a waiting period to like get approved. And then this happened, so that's a rough business to be in right now with everything going on. So I've been doing some cookouts with people on here. Yeah. So I've been, people from out of state been hitting me up, and I go out there, you know what I mean? One, some It was like 20 people one time, four, about eight people the other time, and cook for them, and make a few bucks on that, and have a good time. I mean, there's just all kinds of opportunities, and all kinds of stuff, and meet all kinds of people, and it's a good time, man. <gasps> Wait, Chrissy said, you know, the one that's doing the shrooms. She said, remember Chichi Chong? When they said, Ralph! Man, I don't take the damn mushrooms you don't listen, bro. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, I'm a new subscriber. You make banging ass food. Keep up the yeah, good work, my man. You. Thank you so much. Dude, thanks for answering my question. I think you guys are really going to be wildly successful. It's your passion. And your personalities. I'm up here in Pennsylvania, and I love your videos. Right, awesome. We appreciate you, man. That's awesome. I'm glad y'all enjoying it. And uh, like I said, I mean, y'all make it all possible. Without y'all, what the hell am I doing? Cooking and looking at my damn self, here, you know? Haters being the ones that have less than you are always the ones that have the most to say about you. That's right, Ms. Rita. That is very true. You know, but it's, it's uh, social media is rough, man. It's rough. You, can, you know, it's rough. It is, it is rough. You know, sometimes... Rough. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. It's rough at times, and at times you're ready to go off clean. And yeah, Sarah's like, you know what, Ralph, just don't do it. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna do it. And she's like, no, just don't do it. I just delete it, don't do it. But 
At times, man, some of them just really get to you because you get so tired of hearing it. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got nothing positive to say, keep on rolling, man. Yeah. You know? That's it. No big deal. No feelings. No, no hurt feelings. Keep on rolling and strolling. That's it. So, guys, there's a few people in here ask about where they could buy Ralph seasonings. Um, so, very quickly, Ralph's not in any stores, but you can go to his website. It's sold online. The website is in the description, or you can just go to bakers101.com. But it's also in the description if you want to screenshot it later. I wasn't able to put the link in this live for some reason. Normally I can, but it's still written out for you guys. So you have to screenshot it, whatever. Um, so y'all can check out. He's got a Cajun seasoning and a spicy Cajun seasoning. They're both on 40% off right now. Um, shrimp. He's got barbecue shrimp seasoning and gumbo oh, seasoning. Oh, those two seasonings are like a single-use packet. But the other seasonings come in like a bottle for you to use. He's got a steak seasoning, hamburger seasoning, blackened seasoning, rib rub. What else you got? You got a turkey rub. Fresh Louisiana shrimp. That's what we got. That. He's got shrimp for sale right now. And he's got a bunch of baked goodies on there that he does. Always something going on, man. Always something happening. All right, your advice equals best frozen pizza I ever had. Much love from Columbus, Texas. All right, Rolly. <laughs> Remember when you told everybody how to do it on the last live? Oh, it was good, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, for real, it really is. It's good like that, man. I'm telling you. That was really cool what y'all did for that guy. I used to be homeless, so thank you. Yeah, it was an oh, awesome Chrissy. opportunity. Just like we kicked Rose Beef Boy to the curb, trolls not wanted. <laughs> That's it, man. It's hard. It's hard. There are days where Ralph has to kind of take like a mental health day type thing. Sometimes he just has to put the phone up. He has, for every one bad person or comment or hater, he's got 10,000 people that love him. But And he that support and love keeps him going. But, you know, sometimes... That one comment can sometimes just hit a nerve or just like kind of get to you. I know it does for, like when I see it, it gets me really upset sometimes and it's him. Um, so sometimes we got to take a mental health day and maybe not go live that day or not respond to comments as much. And people kind of get offended by that. Like, oh, you're not responding as much anymore. And sometimes it's overwhelming when you get, you know, so it's, it's rough. I mean, but it's a blessing at the same time. It's yeah. changed our lives. Yeah, it's been we met a lot of awesome people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't understand trolls. Personally, I don't. I really don't. Like, if I don't have, if I don't like you and I don't want to see what you got to say, I just keep on rolling. That's all. Yeah. But people are different, I guess. You know, uh, I don't know. You know. Mm -hmm. So you just, you know, I always say, man, just treat people like you want to be treated. Literally. You you think the next time you make that comment to somebody, would you want somebody to say that to you? Yeah. And if you wouldn't, then don't do it. It's that simple. It's that easy. If you don't like the person, that's fine. Maybe you don't like them. Maybe something about them. You know, then just yeah. keep on going. It ain't, it ain't no big deal. It's all good, man. And But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> don't worry. We got your back, guys. We'll take care. Nah, we appreciate y'all. I get a lot of times when the trolls come up under my comments and stuff. Y'all come through and help me out and take care of it and let them know and this, that, and the rest. So, and I see it, and it helps bring attention. And I see it. And I'll either make a decision to, to go off, to try not to, or just block, you know, block them or whatever have you, you know? Yeah, I mean, and Ralph doesn't let him affect him, like, personally. You know, he never really carries it and takes it with him. You know what it is. It's a hater. It's somebody that's just, they got something going on in their own lives, and they're miserable people, and they want to hurt people. You get what it is, and you don't really take it offensively, but sometimes, like, when you see it just... When you just negative stuff, whether it's truthful or not, over and over and over, daily, 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 just kind of starts, that negative energy gets to you sometimes, you know. But, I mean, overall, there's way more people that support them. People come out, you know, kind of handle the fight sometimes in the comment section for Ralph. Ralph I just let it be. I just like, let it be. So, it's all good, man. Thank you, Chrissy. It's all good. Let it be word on a duck's back. That's right. That's the same it. folks that type it won't say a crappy person. That's true. That's right. Charlie said, I got your back, Ralph. No, I appreciate it, man. It's all good, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it's been a little less lately, so that's a good thing. I don't know, man. It's sad that so many people, they got a lot of miserable people out there, man. It's, uh, 
But you never know. You never know. I don't know why they like that. It just, I don't know. You're jealous of your success. The trolls won't even remember the BS they say. Don't let them win. That's right. That's true. Hope when it comes to Nola this fall for the Saints versus Cowgirls game. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we'll love right. to meet you if at all possible. Big swole. Yeah. You know, when you're coming into town, you can hit Ralph up on Instagram or you can uh, email the website. And if he, sometimes when people come in, if he's available and it works out, he, he tries. So just let him, let him know and, you know, he'll do his best. He would alcohol could hook up, maybe meet somewhere, just have a beer or something, hang out, eat. Crickets make all the noise so you walk up on them. Yeah, that's true, huh? <laughs> What's up, Iowa? I love Ralph's Reebok with the guy bottoms. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Hey, Ralph's brother. What's up, Vinny? What's up, What's up Vinny? Only thing that gets me is when Ralph almost cuts off a finger in his videos, just yeah. <laughs> I end up yelling at you through the screen. I know that's right, man. I know that's right. Oh, Melly's number five. Who I got to get that to hold my hair. Uh-oh, she's Rip. unplugging it. That's why I don't want to let her in, but she wouldn't stop crying. Go. Go. She might have to go outside. Oh, bring right outside. I'll take her outside. And dog, then trip the damn cord and unplug it, so. Melly, I appreciate it, baby. Melly, it's nobody specific. It's just random people that come on and like to just say negative. It's all good, though. All right, when I came down to Stafford, uh, I gave your bro some of that Cajun spice, and uh, he did a shrimp boil, and it was delicious. Thank you. He's so welcome. That's awesome. I'm glad y'all did a shrimp boil, and y'all was able to enjoy it. That is definitely awesome. I mean, I, was, I always talk about Patreon, y'all. I always talk about that. I've been telling you. I, I, I was talking about it yesterday or today. I want to do it. Just got to figure it out. Got to another thing to figure out, you know? Oh, Mel, I think, Sarah, did you just let Brett outside? Yeah. Yeah, we just let Brett outside, but we sure did in a minute. Who wants, somebody wants to see her? Uh, That's I do have, I got some fried gator up there with that gator tail. I like to fry it up in the deep fry. If not, I like to make alligator sauce be gone with the with the alligator tail. That's real nice. So that's what I like to do, and there's all kinds of recipes. Yeah, and you did that alligator. I don't know if that's on YouTube. Is the alligator sauce for calling YouTube? I think nice. so. I love your videos. I appreciate y'all. I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. No, I don't smoke. If I did, I, I don't mind anybody that does. I, I just don't. I, I never liked it. Because one minute you get something, and you're laughing, and you're chilling, and then the next time you go get it, and your heart's beating fast, bro, I say, I don't like all that, man, or hell no. If I had a store where I could go down and get something, I probably would, but I don't like it because I don't like the fact of not knowing what I get. I'm very funny. Very, very, very funny. Like, Ralph is a very, very funny person about, like, this boy won't take Claritin because he took Excedrin for his headache. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'm 39 years old, man. I and mean, I swear to this, I'm 39. When I was younger, my mama used to always scare us, you know what I'm saying? You could you go to your friends, if you got a headache, a stomach ache, anything, you gotta call your mama, man, and, <clears throat> and ask your mama if you could take this medicine. Well, my mama always made us like that my whole life, so now I'm 39 years old, and, and I ain't never done I, no illegal drugs a day in my life, besides a little smoke for probably four or five times when I was younger, probably one or two times as an adult, but other than that, that's it. That's as far as it goes. I ain't never did nothing. I, I just, I think it's because my mom instilled fear into us. Of, she had me believing if I took tall and all, they'd kill me when I was a kid. So, you know, uh, that's just the way I am. But if you smoke, I mean, I don't look at it as a bad thing, to be honest with you. Sarah had a tumor back in 2017. And she had a major surgery. It was on her pancreas. And they had to cut half of it out. And when she got out, she wasn't doing good. And a friend of mine... I ain't gonna say his name on here. He came over, he had a little smoke, and uh, Sarah was in a bad way. She wasn't eating, she just wasn't doing good. You know, the pain pills wasn't helping her. Uh, my friend rolled up one of them uh, flowers, and I tell you what, I swear I ain't lying. Instantly, she didn't have the pain no more, and of course she started eating, man, and that lasted about a good month, and she was smoking, and, and you know, not nothing crazy, not all day long, you know, maybe once a day, twice a day, and eating, and then, Man, it helped her through having that tumor surgery. I swear to that, y'all. She was fine then. Boom. She was able to eat, hold her food down, had an appetite, and the pain was gone. And she didn't have to take the pain pills. True story. I swear. Yep. True story right there. I promise. Oh, we'll love to see Ralph's 
funny life stories on Patreon or something. Yeah. What was the Gator Tail recipe you mentioned that you that was on YouTube probably? Uh alligator sauce pecan. So check that out. That's a real good one. It ain't hard to make or nothing. Boy, that's some good cooking there, some good eating. I'm telling you, you have a good time cooking it. I love cooking it. It's fun and it's real, real good. These Cajun peanuts, man, y'all gonna have to try these. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I swear. Is Sarah your wife? Yes. Sarah is my wife. We've been married here 14 years. What's up, Ireland? Do you eat any junk food, baby? Oh, all day, every day. All day long. Uh, Terrible. Why? Yes, indeed. Uh, way why? more than we should. Uh, why do I have to drink water while the doctor's I don't know. Tell uh, me where I'm going. I'm telling you, man. That's true, Kyla. Sarah is the nanny. <laughs> I know, right, Anne Marie? That's what I feel like. I'm the nanny. With all these kids. I'm trying to do something about that? I was telling you what. I thought that's what you were trying to do. Uh, TB said you have a five. Went to Xavier's in New Orleans. This is my second home. Love your uh -huh. videos. Keep it up. TB, appreciate you. That's awesome you went there. That's really awesome. Do a Patreon and send us some Cajun peanuts every once in a while. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, I want to do one. I just got to figure it out and make sure there's some good, you know, people's getting what they're paying for and not neglect it. And, and, uh, and that's why I don't bite off one I could chew. Really, I don't. Yeah. Because... I can't run every platform. I don't know how to help people do it. Maybe they got teams. I don't know what they got. I personally can't do it. I could run TikTok and YouTube. And like Instagram. I just put like regular stuff up there. I got like 5,000 little followers. 6,000. But even Facebook is hard for me to do. Facebook's. People want to see me there. But I mean, hell, I'm only but just us. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I don't know how people do it. It yeah. ain't quite as easy as it seems. That's been the hesitation with Patreon is like, you know, since people are like paying a subscription for that and, you know, we value everyone's money. We don't want to waste money. And then so Ralph wants to make sure he can put up quality content and he's not stretching himself too thin and people are paying for something that's not. I ain't going to be that expensive on Patreon. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be that expensive. Probably just, I was thinking like 3000 a month. <laughs> Justin Timberlake? $2,000 a month? I'm just playing, y'all. Just messing, y'all messing around. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, Kelly Misfit, no, the peanuts are not on the website. Uh, that was a recipe he did. That recipe will be on YouTube in the I morning. I could draw those and candles. What people buy the hell out of those, boy. I guarantee it. Maybe so. Yeah, if you, if you jar, like, jar it, seal it. can them or whatever you call it. Yeah, maybe so. Some good stuff. Um, yes, his seasonings are internet up for international shipping and you know domestic, so anybody can buy the seasonings. Other than that, we can only like the food. We can only do in the United States only, but the spices can now do international. Um, <laughs> you can hit me over at Patreon. I helped another content creator with his. All right, Joe. All right, now. I thought Patreon was like. They give you money like donations. Well, no, it's like it's like like they pay different levels: tier one, tier two, tier three. Maybe two dollars. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use somebody that I see. Maybe two dollars. It depends how big the person is, what they do, and all that. What they're gonna put into it. Mine could be two dollars for tier one, five for tier two. Could be twelve dollars for tier three. And the more the better tier. What I guess the, the average people charge for that. Have you seen it's hard to say average because everybody's different, man. Everybody's different. Some people are one dollar. Some people are a hundred dollars. It just all just depends. I'm, like, and then it's a monthly but, thing. But maybe I don't know if they give merch out every month or oh. special things on tier three. I, I don't know what they do. Oh, I see. Like you can say, all right, if you're on my Patreon, you you level three, tier three. I'm gonna send you out. Uh, New merch that nobody's gonna get besides you for tier three. Something like that is, is how it's kind of like done. Um, Kevin said five for lower tier, 25 for upper tier. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, thank you, Henry. Miss Rita said you have a five dollars. Who was it, Miss Rita? Miss Rita, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, M Manton, I think is how you say it. So you're my hero. Man, appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, Kyla, international shipping, it'll calculate it for you on the website. 
But generally, what I we haven't shipped a whole lot, maybe like five or less internationally for the spices, and they usually run between fifteen to twenty dollars for a spice, which I know is a lot of money, but we don't control that part. I mean, it's yeah. not like yeah, shipping is expensive. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's expensive for shipping. I'm sorry, y'all. Every time I go in there, I get like. I've been getting almost a monthly email of them saying like we're going up ten cents, eight cents, this on each different. I'm like, God, man, that's ridiculous. Get greedy, man. Ain't nothing, and people nothing, are nothing. paying more in shipping sometimes than they are the product these days. It's yeah. crazy. So I'm sorry, but um, you'd make a good amount of revenue. That yeah, being said. that's definitely something. That's definitely something I want to do. I just got to figure out <clears throat> what to do and how to do it. You know what I mean? But I, that's something. Like I said, I was talking about it yesterday. And it'd be fun. And I got the time to do it. So, you know, it could be Oh, so be Stephanie fun. was talking about if you manage to get a food truck and you advertise on TikTok and put your locations all over the world nationally, of course, after the panorama. Yeah. The problem is that they don't let you advertise for yourself. When you advertise, I'll go from getting 50,000 views. If I mention my video, if I mention my website or, or this, I'll be there. It'll drop down to 2,000 views. They, yeah. they pick it up. They don't want you advertising on that stuff. Joe said, I saw another YouTube that also streamed on Twitch. Charged $10 a month for the lowest tier if you wanted to get on Zoom calls with him. It's $25 a month. Oh, wow. Hmm. Damn. Melly, he can't check his text messages till after live because then it'll like mess up the live. Yeah, that's my phone. I'm on my phone. It's on the moon's on. Um. Ralph, do you have a... My phone died? Damn. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ray. Bro, these bro. kids came and stole the charger. Oh, I'm so sick of these Can't kids. Can't they write them down? I love your restaurant reviews, too. Oh, thank you so much. I just try and show people, like, where to go and where not to go so that you can... When you come to New Orleans, you really get some good stuff. You know what I mean? That's all that's about. Brian said, hey, Ralph, why was the foot smiling? Why was the foot smiling? Mm-hmm. I don't know. My foot hurts because I tripped today. <laughs> it ain't that much. There's something I want for someone else, but it's $40 shipping. I might buy some seasoning in a couple of months because I have to pay for some stuff next month. There's Oh, I'm sorry, Kyle. $40 for shipping? Maybe June. Uh, I think there's a few things that they were trying to get. Yeah. Because it's international. Yeah, that international shipping ain't cheap, bar guarantee. Maybe June. All right, Ky 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 Kyla, Kayla, Kyla. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, Ralph, do you like catfish or snapper court bouillon? I love catfish, man. I ain't gonna lie. I love catfish. I love fried catfish, blackened catfish, catfish pool boys, catfish soup. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Not catfish soup. Ew, I don't, that don't sound good. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ralph, what are your tattoos, baby? Man, I got a lot of y'all. Uh, I got a lot. I got this one. Tell me what this is. Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. And I got these right here. Prayer hands, y'all. It says only God can judge me. I learned that that might not be true. Got uh, this dragon right here. Some angels. Floor to leave with the 504. You gotta remember, y'all. I got these a long time ago, man. It's a Black Panther, I think. Hearts. Smoke. Top one says you don't want that smoke right now. Oh, shut right. up. That is not why you got that, you freaking liar. Tell them the truth why you got half them tattoos. Oh, there's a couple of man. Some girls on there. The yeah, couple. let me hold on. Let me tell y'all the truth, okay? Hold on. Let me tell y'all the truth. Because y'all know I keep it real, right? He had about like, when I met him, he had like 10 girls' names tattooed on him. If y'all believe that, y'all are fools like her, bro. Ten girls' names. I mean, I was like, Am I lying? Yeah, you're lying. Maybe two. Not no two. It was more than five. Two. Are you fucking crazy? You got me cursed. Are you stupid? <laughs> I'm telling you. Make All right, hold on. One, two, three. All right, maybe it was three. Mom, what, what ten? What, I look like a chalkboard to you, man? You was looking like one. You looked like you was at like a list going on, like are a roll call. Crazy, man? You guys are such a cute couple. How long have y'all been together? We've been together, Bethany, for 18 years, but we've been married for 14 they said, oh boy. <laughs> Can't you combine 10 girls' names? Is she crazy or oh, ridiculous? Why was the foot smiling? Because oh. it was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Alyssa, watch out. I didn't even touch it. 
What, what you call a cow using a calculator? Oh, Lord, Brian. They say change the subject. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I'm 10. I mean, I ain't a talk boy there, man. All right, so Kevin, yes, a calculator. <laughs> so, yeah, so the meet and greet is still happening May 15th, y'all. Go check out. He's got it on, you got it on your community post, right? So my community is so on So Ralph my... has the event flyer on the community post on YouTube. It's also on Instagram. Um, with the details of, with the location, the time. It's going to be a good time. And we're asking for people to RSVP because, like, the place can hold 75 people. So just so that we don't have people come in and, like, we're filled up, but we still got plenty of spots. Yeah, we might have, like, 35 people right now, but I ain't really been advertising it. Be honest with y'all, I ain't really been posting about it. Just that one time there, that's about it. But I figure if I post again, that'll probably put us at capacity, the way I see it. No, Joe, no cougar tats. There was not cougars at the time. <laughs> What's up, Adam? How long for uh, knucklehead fights? Brian sent over 10, baby. Love you guys. Keep on going, yeah, guys. Keep you. on making moves. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah, I think we're gonna next move going to be that Patreon, man. I've been really wanting to do that. I think that would be fun, you know? Uh, I think that could be a good time. Is the Cajun season and spicy, baby? The original one just has a lot of flavor. Now, I do have a spicy one, so make sure if you don't want the spicy, you know, just get the original one. Now, it ain't that spicy. It's got a lot of flavor. Now, if you, if you add too much to your food, it will get spicy. So just don't overuse it. You just need a little bit. It's good stuff. I need a charger. Is your phone charged up? Yeah, I'm charged. Can I steal it? Yeah, take it. Thank you, kids. You're good for nothing, charger thieves. I think our bright was on this nut. Yeah, it's probably because it's running off the same box. Uh -huh. I was pulling a pop. Where's the meet and greet info, baby? So it's on my community page on YouTube or on Instagram, Ralph the Baker 101. Yeah. Check that out for sure. So we're just asking for people. There's like, we're not charging for tickets because um, it's going to be held at a local bar that, we're, that we live near um, where they serve, you know, food and drinks. So Y'all will be able to mm -hmm. buy them, you know, yourself. So we're not charging any. No. Originally... Ralph was, gonna, was planning to have it catered, and we're going to do it at a park. The problem is, is number one, we didn't realize it was the weekend of graduation for all the high schools and colleges out here, so the parks were not available. Um, and then there was, like, a lot of restrictions and craziness with that. And so we're going to just charge, you know, like, for what your cost would have been, like, for catering and stuff. But we're not doing that now. The bar we're going to has got food, drinks you can buy. We're just asking for people to RSVP with the amount of people they're going to have in their party, including yourself, so that we could just say, okay, we hit the 75. Like, they can hold 75 people indoors and then, like, 50 people outdoors. So, I guess we're just trying to see what the response is to see if we need to, how to work that. So, that's the only reason we're asking for our RSVP. We don't want people to show up and then, like... People can't come in because we got capacity. We ain't at no problem yet. Um, hold on, my phone just powered on so I can try and read some comments. I'm trying to get there, y'all. These kids steal all the chargers. All right, let's see. How do you RSVP? So, the website, um, well, the e we're asking people just to email, like, hey, I'm coming to the meet and greet and I got four people in my party total. That's all you gotta do, give me a name and then like how many people's in there. So you can either go to the website um, and there's a message us through the website. It's the same email as Ralph's email or you can go on the event flyer. I have his email written at the bottom. Same email, so whichever which way you do it is fine. Um, what's in that bowl? So steel shot, this is a bowl peanut. Cajun boiled peanuts with some Cajun Bomb. seasoning. That's so good. Some onions, some jalapenos in there. <laughs> Boy, ain't good, man. That video is going to be up tomorrow. I'm telling y'all, if you like, for my people that like them uh, boiled peanuts, you got to try these. You won't be disappointed. Oh, Miss Rita said that, the, that Jake Paul and his brother have been demonetized on YouTube. And that's why they in the boxing ring about to get their butts with. <laughs> Look at Ross' face. <laughs> wow. Why did, what happened there? So, Ms. Brenda, um, you mean for the meet and greet? So, okay, we're going to have 
party favors for everybody at the meet and greet, um, each person that comes. I don't know if they're going to be t-shirts because I haven't been able to find anybody affordable. So, and we're not charging, like I said, we're not charging any tickets. So we're doing that like out of pocket just as like a thank you gift. I haven't been able to, because it would be like. It's going to be something though. Yes, it would be like we'd have to have so many ranges of sizes for each person and all of that. So, but we're gonna have some nice little favors for y'all to take home. I promise you, y'all like it. This is what Sarah does, y'all. Puts a my forehead. forehead. In. Quit playing with me, if I hit you with that. Sexy tongue. thing, you. Sure. Now that you get the sexier you look. You stupid. <laughs> What's up, California? Look at you blushing after twenty years. You still make me blush. Sounds like a great party. Do an event in Nashville. Let's hang out on Broadway at the Honky Tonks. Well, that sounds fun. I Ooh, guarantee That sounds you. so country. That's all right. And what you need to do is you need to get about a about hundred people together and not come down to Nashville and cook for y'all. That's what you do. Y'all know I've been doing this here little catering deal, cooking, boiling for people. I ain't gonna be a little money, but I come down there with some sacks of crawfish. We just gotta get enough people. I go anywhere from Florida to Texas and Tennessee, you name it, I'll be there. What's up, New York? That's where I was trying to go with New York. Somebody's already playing the fight live on TikTok. <laughs> what's up, Roy? Roy Torres is in here. What's up, Roy? What's up? Roy, wasn't your, was that, Roy, was that your birthday yesterday? Richard said I'm on it. Brian, you going to get off my table before you break this one like you broke the other hey, one? You drinking no tequila? Come cook for the boys of California. I'm telling you, man. How was the steak and the fries, baby? Man, they came out nice. I'm telling you, if you ever get your good cut of steak, I'm telling you, and you get that brand and fries right there, man. It's like the restaurant fries. You put some cheese on your fries, some Cajun seasoning on them. Cut that steak up in little pieces and eat it with your fries. I'm telling you, it's good. Roy said it was his wife's. Okay, all right. Well, happy birthday to your wife, and hopefully she has many, many more years of success, man, I tell you. And, and just happy, some wonderful years, and so many blessings. Man, what you know about these Cajun peanuts, man? You ever had boiled peanuts? You gotta suck the juice, you don't just drip it out onto the floor. This ain't crawfish. Oh, Lord. This, this ain't crawfish. Boy, I don't even know how to eat a damn peanut, a peanut man. <laughs> Ralph can make us blush with all those heaping spoons. He's spilling it all over the damn thing. Go, nasty. go. Hey, what's up? Oh, Welcome right. from Colorado Springs. Colorado, hey guys. what's up? What's up, y'all? Roy said thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I Kids coming in here, tearing up the kitchen now. They're like Ralph. Ralph, you have a beautiful family. Thank you so much. I am blessed, man. That I am. That you are. You better not you forget know. it either, little boy. Nice. Like you clean on him. Yeah, well, I wish you would. All right, y'all. Look, we're going to jump off here. We're going to go watch Jake Paul get beat down. <laughs> so, if anybody wants to make that little $100 bet with the bacon, so holla at your bar. I think everybody's going. Wait, are you going for him or against him? I'm going against him. I got $100 say Jake Paul gets beat down. Y'all want to take the bet first one into the cash app? We'll do a $100 yeah, bet, on that bet on it. I got a $100 bet on that. Me and you 50. You want to do 50? I'll do a $100. Joseph sent over $10. Hey, I got to hit the sack. Love you guys. Good night. Joseph, appreciate you, man. Get your good night rest. Sounds like a hurricane in there, family man. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, kids come through to tan everything up. What's up, UK? UK, what's up, what's up? I just used your Cajun spicy seasoning with some garlic butter over lobster tail. It was amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. That sounds good. I'll Kevin said I'm with Ralph. I know. I'm telling you, about to get beat down. Look, everybody's luck come down today. Everybody runs out of luck eventually. And How many fights has he fought? Third. Is it third one? Fourth one? Yeah, this is his third fight. He's, He's undefeated. undefeated. Man, get the hell out of here. He's getting beat down tonight. All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed, man. Stay safe out there. We'll be back live. Y'all already know that. Check out uh, Instagram, Ralph and Baker 101. I'm going to work on Patreon, y'all. I'm going to start working on that because that's something I've been talking about. Y'all be safe, man. I appreciate y'all, all right? I saw the other dude fight. He didn't do that C fight with him. What you saying? What happened? Jake Paul boxed. This other dude, a UFC fighter. Man, he's gonna choke him up. He's now. 